Let me let me start recording. What is up, everybody? I just got back from like almost a month off. Very nice personal vacation. Check out the shit that I got in Disney. Uh. I got the really shitty Sora face pin. One of two pins for Kingdom Hearts that you can get at Disney. Look, look at how good Donald and Goofy look, but Sora is just like, he's looking like a melted ice cream bar. We saw this and I was like, yeah, I, they're like, yeah, I have to get this. I'm obligated by Mickey Mouse. How to focus on thumbnail <laughs> that actually hold on yeah that is thumbnail material i forgot i had that alert noise holy shit big eagles 60 just subscribed let's go my homie hey, shammy will just back right. it again with the drip streams yo big giggles 60 the tier fucking three thank you very much that's a lot of money i appreciate that a lot let's get started uh how do i stream There we go. New emote? Good job. I have had a couple new emotes. You might be outing yourself as a Kingdom Hearts only viewer because I've added like three or four new GIF emotes since I last streamed Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I don't have a game capture. That's what's going on here. been quite some time but I am so happy to be back I'm feeling better than ever I need to remember how to hold a DualShock 4 let me know if this is like too loud or quiet because I have no idea how to stream Okay, let's get started, let's go. That was Persona 3? It was Persona 3. Reloaded. Yeah, it was long. And I, the first half of me playing it, I didn't realize how much time I was taking doing shit that sucks that I didn't care about. Because I felt obligated to do social links that suck. Even though the game, I like. The game's easy. It's just too easy. So taking What's that time to get all the extra EXP or whatever for like social link fusions was like totally not like. Whatever. I'm excited to never play a modern Persona game on this channel ever again because that shit was too long. And. Uh. Maybe I'll play, um. I guess there's always the answer. That'll be more reasonable because it's the answer. I don't know. Shout out to SMT5 Vengeance for looking really, really, really fucking cool, though. God, how do I do anything? What do I do? Oh, yeah, I go here. Persona 1 and Persona 2 definitely on the docket, though. Especially because those seem like those are gonna get remade. So. Alright, what are we doing here? Wishing Star. Sure, whatever. It's That's pretty good. Plus 1 MP and a 14 fucking strength. That's like average middle Keyblade strength for KH1 Rando. I didn't really know what I wanted to do for my first stream back, so I figured we would just, you know, crank out one of these and just hang out. But, um... I want to do a bunch of one-off things. Or at least things that won't take more than, like, three or four streams to do. Because having to lock in for 18 streams of Persona 3 Reload really made me justify taking a month off. You know, on top of my vacation and all. 
Yeah, I actually, I want to I wanna do that Ice the Misa playthrough of Soul Hackers, just like, you know, skip through the cutscene just because we've seen them so many times, but, um, I want to do that soon. I want to play Demon Souls, I think. I want to finish up, um, um, that's me right now. I don't know how to stream. I have a lot of things I want to do. It's way too heavy. I was thinking about PS3 Demon Souls, but emulated on PC, so it's like 60 FPS because it's just a cooler version of the Sheesh. game, honestly. As good as the oh my god, this fucking box. As good as the PS5 version looks and plays, the original just has so much more of that from soft soul. Private servers work for PS3 emulator. There must be a lot of people that uh play that. There might like enough to actually like kind of see phantoms online. That's really cool. Finish <laughs> proving grounds, bitch. What's up, day? We have unfinished business in Baltimore. Yeah, the soundtrack for Demon Souls PS5 is uh, whack compared to the original. Alright, what spell? Stop. Actually, decent? No, it's not. It's shit. You want to get, especially if you have high MP, you want to get like Blizzard uh, right away. Uh... Oh yeah, right. Yeah, maybe this isn't the best choice of game to stream for tonight if I'm like, yippity-yapping and like, not remembering what to do. There's a cage one room, we might be locked in for like six hours. Opinions on Rebirth? It was really, really good. I don't, I don't plan on talking about, like, spoiler-related stuff, because I'm, you know, a normal person that can keep my mouth shut about games that have just come out. But, I really, really enjoyed it. Stop, stop. And I had just played that stretch of FF7 original, like, right before Rebirth dropped, so it was very fresh in my mind. You're walking around at Disney yapping. Why am I saving the video again? What is this? Kingdom Hearts on PC? Bruh. Okay, well there's all that. Yeah, I'm always feeling that. Yo, enemy log with a 28 months, thank you very much. Yeah, right. Forget to take what Peter is it, Pan's please? accessories. True, epic boss funny ha, with the 15 months and good advice, thank you very much. That's like half the reason why I came here. I also need to go to Ifrit Belt. Okay, yeah, this is a super strength seed. I'll be able to get like two more of those from the other party members that have shit. <laughs> Where's the lotus juice? He's minding his biz. I just should not have used that AP up on me immediately. I usually like to save that for like Goofy or whatever. He has MP Rage, what the hell? Already? It's begun. Grand battle, be battle, be battle. Mike is a lot of AP though. Alright, let's get out of here. 
should have started like two hours earlier. I, I, I was gonna start at like 4 p.m. today, but I crashed. I was so tired. I've been getting up really early the past like two weeks. It's been really nice. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm not gonna do a prediction tonight just because first stream back, I'm just chilling. Yeah, I've been seeing the Nobody May Cry stuff um, that's been coming out. I definitely want to peep that once there's like a new update that's a, like substantial enough to dip back into it. Especially if um, one day it gets like a PC version. Because I know that the creator has ambitions for the final release of it to be like transplanting everything to PC, maybe. I was having issues with the emulator on like the last stream I did of it, so it like hopefully if I have to play it on emulator again it isn't like that. ever come here just to pick up uh, the these nuts. Ariel's accessories. Two more ifrit belts and a power chain. Holy fucking strength build! What the hell? All right, Goofy, you're getting these. How do I menu? How do I play video games? I'm very excited for Vengeance, especially the fact that it has a June release date and I can like play that game with my window open and like enjoy life. <laughs> I like when the weather is nice. I'm very sensitive to it, I've found. I guess I'll do this. I wonder how much vengeance is gonna be, like, is Lucifer even gonna be in that storyline? Are they even gonna try having a storyline that's like... Because, like, the original game is basically, like, a half-baked Nocturne 2.0 in terms of, like, doing the whole creation thing again. But this looks like it's gonna be very, very different and probably just way more unique in a way that just might be better for the the setting of that game, I don't know. It's very it's a very strange way of re-releasing a game where they're like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, like completely new route that just diverges very early on in the original storyline. Like up uh, SMT4 Apocalypse was like, yeah, let's like expand on the neutral ending, but like throw in a curveball character, set of characters that change the narrative once it gets to like the end of SMT4, but this is like, yeah, like 25% into the game, here's a new game. <laughs> Vengeance is a re-release, just a full-up entire re-release of the game, very much like, um, dare I say, a Kingdom Heart final mix. That's me saying that to myself. Oh. Talking about Kingdom Hearts. I hope this seed doesn't take too long. I really didn't want to start this late. Oh, it should be chill. Yeah, I've just, I've just been so excited looking at the footage of that game. It's obviously like on 
a system that can handle the game for once. Naho Hiho. They finally put him in the game. There's also like a demon chow garden or whatever where like I don't know if they've talked about it too much in English, but there's a thing where you can have all your demons just like walking around, you can like talk to them and give them stuff. Oh my god, I'm dying in the video game. I'm casting stop on a single shadow. I'm so back. While I don't hate the Moogles in Rebirth, they definitely invoke the energy of that CDI Zelda game. It's like if there was a CDI FF7 game and that's what they would have looked like in that. I'm just like waiting for somebody to draw the Moogle and like that, that really like pixelated like MS Paint almost looking uh I got glide already? Holy shit, okay, we're so back. Yo! Connor Redleaf with the braid, thank you very much. We are so back. Stop, 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 stop. Don't come. You can stop this guy? Why am I surprised by that? Yo, Knots with the 11 months, thank you. I wasn't even expecting that stop to work on this guy. Okay. Come on, lazy butt. Educational stream? Educational tag? How do I... There we go. Get Leon's permission to open this chest. I think another thing, maybe this is just me as a Kingdom Hearts Andy. And I, I remember this, I thought this was a little odd when I played Stranger of Paradise and I heard a Moogle like speak for the first time. At least, I think it's the same voice actor that they use um, in Stranger of Paradise as they did for the Moogles in, in Rebirth, but um, I like the Moogles in Kingdom Hearts just kind of being like sassy and they walk around, they make a you know. In Rebirth, they felt very, and maybe this is just like, I don't know if this is what they're supposed to be like in actual Final Fantasy. Uh, but I like that they're like these sassy um, synthesizers in this game and also like sell stuff to you and rip you off. And in Rebirth, it felt like there were these very, like, scrungly creatures. Well, everybody just died. Do you see that? That was fast. Everybody has, like, insane strength. I did, um, not get Aerith check. Hold on, I can still die. It's not too late. I actually just realized I just was playing the game without getting any chests. But it's not too late. There we go. Oops, I walked into the... Kigor with a tier 2, thank you very much.
guess I can die here. I guess I do have the button, but I feel afraid to press that button if I haven't, like, saved the game or anything. and choose chest dolphins. Hate the cage one glide. It's definitely much better when you get super glide, but it's a godsend for the portion of the game that like you need it. Just being able to you know sustain yourself in the air. And get around. Also yeah you can get that without blue trinity if you glide. Oblivion! It's gonna suck. It sucks! I got the third accessory slot already, what the hell? I have the Coolsville Sucks gif because I've been saying that in like the last stretch of Persona 3, but the actual reference when I say it like that is um, from that clip of Bill O'Reilly getting mad at, at the teleprompter and saying, Fuck it, we'll do it live! Fucking thing sucks! That's what that's actually from. Coolsville is the classic. Okay, well, I got that. I think I can go beat everything now. I don't need to worry. Get all that just to die and get the living back. shop and the ladder that's in the wrong spot in this area. Okay, now we can play the video again. I'm fucking dead. What's up, Asa? Full camera angle. Riku entirely gives this up to Asa. Thank you very much. Look at this guy just getting evaporated. I'll get him. No. Alright. Yeah, this is the funny thing about KH1 Rando if you know where to steal accessories right away, because I have... So you're I can put on a third Ifrit belt, and I have a keyblade with 14 strength, so it's like... And that's not even, like, the better end of Keyblades in this mod. So I can basically do whatever world I want, as long as I don't get, like, too tapped by Riku. The only thing that is holding you back from doing whatever world you want, other than, like, world checks, is, um... 
the fact that it's KH1 and you can't defend yourself against everything always. What's trendy? High jump in mouth? Alright. You know where I'm going. This is gonna- yeah, this is gonna be a nice and smooth seed, because we have dodge roll glide and now high jump. That's not fire for whatever that's worth. Feels so weird to be holding a Dill Shock 4 again. don't need high jump to get high jump. I think with glide I'll be able to bypass that, uh... But I also might need green trandy, actually. But I'll find out pretty quick. It's more likely than not that I'll just be able to get it. Yeah, I don't know if SMT4, like, when you play it, if the sound quality is as good as, like, you know, having it be ripped from the soundtrack. Josh for the tier two, thank you very much. How do you describe the vibe of one rando versus two rando? Uh... Two Rando is this very, at least the way that I play it, Two Rando is this very, like, systematic experience where it's pr very much based on your tracker and you can have a million different settings to control the experience and, like, whatever you want. And the way that I play it is I will play it at whatever, like, pace I want and, like, just use it as, like, a KH2 bloody palace of sorts. But KH1 Rando is this sort of, like, fandangling experience where you have to maneuver around a lot of things and, like, you kind of, like, are forced to just kind of enjoy KH1 as it is. Nice high jump. There it is. Yo, what is up, Bash? We are out here. Stop. Holy moly. We have gotten... High jump, glide, and dodge roll. We are so back. <laughs> the dick eating crazy, though. There's a boo demon, man. Thank you very much for the 30 months. Well, now I can do... I can do all the monster if I want, because I have high jump and glide. I can do whatever I want. This is gonna be a nice seat. This is gonna be a fast one. Which is good, because this is what I need. I'm gonna go more into Agraba than anything, because there's so many good chests you can get just like right away if you um, if you come here with this movement, like that chest right there. You see that? See that shit? You turn on the gift of the Vash. Thank you. What training did I get? I actually didn't remember when I checked. Red. I don't even think I checked earlier. Sorry, Gilson. Spellbinder. Ha! 
give me a thrill. Door commander. Oh, it's so nice having this movement. This is like the best seed I think I've ever had for movement right off the start. Oh, okay. Cool shadow. I might have like sequence break movement as well. Kinda. Fish. It would be really funny if this ended up being a raft seed, but it was like the one seed that I didn't run a prediction for it. You know what, I'm just gonna run the prediction. I just wanna... I don't want that to be the case if that happens. Fifteen minute... You know what? Ten minute. Ten minute? Pumpkin head. What the twenty <laughs> minus two MP? What what keyblade is this? What keyblade has minus two MP? I'm gonna use it. Fuck it. Not like I need MP or anything. I want that keyboard line. Look at how long this keyboard is. I never really realized. It's kind of rare that you ever use it unironically. Midween Town Blade. This keyboard is kind of like Oblivion when you get it. It has a very similar role where it like doesn't have good recoil, but it's long, and it also like has decent crits or something. Something about critting. Okay, well I guess I'll just miss. I, I guess I'll just miss. I guess I won't jump. I guess I'll die. Report. I also, I need to turn in my dolphins when I get back. Oh. Instead of getting White Claw, I'm gonna get in one piece. This room is slanted in every version. I've played the earliest versions of KH1. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was doing for the past couple days since I've gotten back. Um, I've been working on, really working on my KH1 retrospective video. And yeah, in all versions of the game, when you are coming out of that cutscene, the cut the camera is just wrong. It's just like off to the side. I think I forgot. Oh, I can't go into that room yet. Never mind. I don't know how long the video is going to be. It could be one to two hours. <laughs> Hello, cool J with the twenty months. Thank you. for Picnic Island. Only a real Scooby-Doo head, so I'll understand that reference. I call myself a Scooby-Doo head, but that was like one of the four Scooby-Doo VHS tapes I grew up with and watched on repeat, so I'm actually a fake fan. Bruh. I remember, like, a semi-long time ago, I ordered a VHS tape of, um, the one with the Hex Girls, and I can't find that VHS tape. I don't know, how the fuck do you lose a VHS tape in the current year? Ha! 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 
It's like the only one that I never was able to, it's like, never had of that, that line of um, Scooby-Doo movies. Very sadly. Though I still have yet to see it. Why am I, like, almost dead? What's happening to me? Right now, Raft is actually in the lead because we have fish. That's a that's a very big Raft item to get because if you need to buy it, you have to buy it three times. We also have coconut. Benjamin with the 36 fucking months, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody, you know, resubbing today now that I'm back. Of course. Uh... What video game am I playing? Where am I? Oh yeah. Why are there four? Hold on, why are they- what? They're- why are they up there? I don't remember. Why are they- why- Okay, these two down here are normal. Those two up there are not normal. I don't- do they always drop down? There's four of them. Why are there four? Why do I only have an elixir to heal? I'm gonna die. They're actually going to kill me. I've never seen this room have four dudes if I get the Black Fungus spawn. You already know Goofy's winning that. Like, nine times out of ten. Thank you very much, Saga Place, for the six months. Yeah, I've never seen them spawn up there either, nor do I even remember there being four of them. Well, I guess that's all we get to see of that. What are these items I'm getting? What the fuck? Yeah, it's very funny how Dark Souls 2's re-release is literally just legendary Dark Knight mode from DMC 4 and 5. And they're like, yeah, this is the way that the game is played now. There is no alternative if you're on uh, like PS4 and the new PC version. You just have three times the amount of enemies for no regard for human life. Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Very funny game. Can I get these without... Vanilla DS2 is not lost, you can just play the game. At least on PC. You know, you can't really play vanilla on consoles, not modern consoles. You have to whip out a, like a PS3 or whatever. But no, it's on PC. What items have I been even getting? You can get both versions on Steam, right? Setting your sight. It's like DirectX 9 versus DirectX 10 or whatever. I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm, I'm fucking dead. He's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> what? I blinked what happened. So did I. I don't know. I just got ran into by a pot. Bruh, how do I play video games? Where am I? Mudo. <laughs> Setting your sights. Uh, video games. Oh, that's why. Look at how much damage I'm taking. You know what, Elixir? I'm eating that. One MP that I already have. Give me that back. I'm gonna die. To that, yeah. I'm like, I have like, vanilla game 
items right now going into this fight. Oh, I better put on my two potions and my mega potion. What is this rando seed? I'm doing everything in such a strange order that I normally do, and that's great. Donald have like three HP. I really don't need this much strength, but it's funny. Donald gets arrow if you do opposite armor, this which you need red train before, which I have, actually. Yeah, 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 we'll see. yeah, great. Yeah, good, okay. If I die, I'm gonna go... Yeah, okay. This is exactly what I was talking about, because it's like, yeah, it's cage one you can't defend yourself against shit that you just get hit by. So it's like the only thing I can stop, glass cannon and say no strength seeds. Which is fun. I actually like that about cage one You have to respect the video game. Uh, let's do TT2. Hot centipede will like go up sometimes it goes to the right and then I think it can I think it just goes up to the right and then just like goes back and it hangs out in the middle forever. I don't remember. Sometimes it can go backwards, I don't know. I'm no pot centipede expert. Oh yeah, I can get this I guess. Dragon Bone Smasher is cool in Demon Souls, but strength builds to me as much as I've tried to do them in every Souls game I've played they only feel right in Dark Souls 1 because of the way that that game is built that game has a very it's the most firm feeling Souls game in a way that like yeah I can in my head right now I can do a Zweihand or R2 and see the enemy get hit by the pancake stun when you do it to them. And I can hear the sound effect too. But like, Demon Souls, and I guess Dark Souls 2 might be more of the same, but I don't really own it because it feels like a... Dark Souls 2 feels like a Souls-like instead of an actual Souls game. But um, like Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne... Dark Souls 3 is like this because of Bloodborne. Um, and Elden Ring all feel very, like, loose, fast and loose games, um, where strength, yeah, you can use it, and it's especially good in Elden Ring because of jumping R2s with great swords, but, uh, it feels best in Dark Souls 1, and Demon Souls also kind of feels more like Dark Souls 3 at times because it does feel kind of, like, very loose, and the, uh, the sound effects and feedback for heavy weapons don't feel as good as Dark Souls 1. I should look at my dolphin reports. A rope in the Grand Hall. Tinkerbell in the pirate ship. It's pretty fitting. And I got that super glide postcard in the cavern. Yeah, I got like all these already actually. No toast are the six months. Thank you. No toast. Seagull egg for Hades Cup time trial. Oh, that's really bad. For raft heads. 
that's actually awful for raft heads. I just read that for the first time. I have to get that seagull egg elsewhere if I want to do that because that's an insane ask is to do the entire fucking Hades Cup time trial. That doesn't bode well. But it, Moogles could have it. Or trade opportunities. Speaking of which, I need to remember the peddler. Once I get this red train in Donald's arrow. Yeah, Demon Souls has a funny quirk to it where, like, if you let an animation play out and you don't, like, cancel it by moving or dodge rolling out of it or swinging again, you'll have this, like, really long recovery to the animation that, like, it's not considered recovery because you can skip it by dodge rolling out of it. But if you sit on the animation, um, you'll get to see the rest of it and you, like, see your character model recover. But it's not, like, you're not obligated to see it. So it's actually pretty cool that it has that. No other game has that in the Souls games, at least. Hades Cup Time Trial is fine if you can, like, if you're really strong, if you're hitting the strength cap and you have limits, you can just destroy everything. Oh, you should. You have to do it three times. Especially, yeah, if you have Strike Raid, your usual just, like, kill everything button. Or insane low high magic. You're totally fine. It's just I don't want to do that. Actually, no, I just remembered, um, Hades Cup Time Trial in Rando. All I have to do is the Hades Cup, which I still don't want to do. But, um, Time Trial would only be the first seed, and then it gives it to you anyways. In Rando. It's modded for that. So it actually wouldn't be too bad, but I still don't want to do it. Can you believe it? 26 points, thank you. Yeah, we're back. Feeling better than ever. Bella is getting decimated. Yeah, gravity break. Weird ability. When does B2 play? I don't think that's in... That's in KH2, but it's not in KH1, Rando. It plays in KH2, Rando, when... I just got booted. Um... It plays when you fight org members. It replaces 13th Dilemma, not uh, the other one. The other one is the Silly Man version. I guess I can do this. Is that Owl? From... Piglet's Nightmare? Holy shit, you can get this without double high jump. Holy shit, I didn't know. I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, well, write that down. Somebody asked me what gaslighting in Stockholm Syndrome is. I beg of Atlas to release the new version on, on like, the, the new version of the battle theme in Vengeance, because it is so fucking good, and it would be such good marketing for the game to just release the battle theme like they did for Virgil's theme, Bury the Light. And 
any interest in metaphor. Um, it has my attention because it looks like it has press turn combat and DDS combo skills in it. I'm a little turned off by the fact that it has... I'm, I'm, I'm wary of the, the Mosu combat blend that it has, but also not too fond of it having... seeming like it has Persona um, calendar system type progression. It smells so good. It smells really good. We're gonna get some um, Benadryl. Benadryl. Well, why am I up here? I, I've done it again. Go back. What do I do? Did I just leave here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was joking in the hotel room. Totally. I roomed with Rundus in Vegas. We watched four hours of ridiculousness one night. On like the shittiest TV ever. It was awesome. I guess I can go back to Agrabah and hope Donald cast. I haven't customized Donald. Let's do this. We can do shit either. End of the world chests. I can't get that unless I have um, the thing thingamabob. I need nav gummy, which I don't think I have, unless I missed it. No, I don't have it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be heavy on making that game have the same structure of a Persona game, and that kinda... Uh... I don't really care for as much, but we'll see. Streaming Persona 3 made me not very fond of streaming a game that has that, uh... layout to it. It was kind of a stretch for me to get through the last half of that playthrough. I was pretty done with the game halfway through. Oh, I just got sniped! It's like... That's like a very Cage 2 moment. You know those dudes in, um... The hammerheads in Cavern of Remembrance that just like snipe you. That was very KH2 of KH1 of just now. Oh yeah, customize. That's the whole reason I opened this fucking menu. There we go. And Goofy needs to be in Goofy R's because of how strong he is right now. Actually, he's not that strong, but he's still, like, better than average. In fact, I'm gonna give him... an Ifrit Belt, because I don't need as many as I have right now. And I'm also... I'm gonna go back to the Magic Side. This is just better. I don't need more strength than I already have. I'll get these chests now, but if I die, I'm not gonna get them next attempt. Or just room save. Okay. I think I'll do a magic build when Vengeance comes out. Fuck up his customized. What is this Here. treatment I'm getting from him right now? You asshole! Thank you. Here. 
I think even if, um, they added a bunch of Fizz stuff, I like, um, oh my god. I like Magic Build because it, it, the way that I feel about Fizz and Magic Build varies from game to game, but, like, Magic Build I prefer in DDS. Is your team dumb? <clears throat> because of the way DDS is made and SMG5 feels like it is, like, uh... Sugar free to accelerate the healing of his biology while eating his own damaged flesh and blood to greet the growth hormones that are required to raise a king's dome so he can have wisdom. Jose, this is a dark training class. Um, SMT5 Fizz build. When I did my Fizz build playthrough, it was mostly the same two Almighty Fizz skills for the entire game. Especially with, like, crit or It's actually, it's so good, it's boring. I'm gonna try this one more time. This fight sucks. It's so good that it's boring. But being able to do, like, Nahobino's unique animations and, like, dropping that on a press turn, like, getting a press turn out of it, and also getting to do the strat where you dismiss your entire party and then attack five times in a row, that's Magic Build exclusive. So, I'm doing magic build, especially because I, that, that Hama skill that Purple Mahobino used is very fucking cool looking, and I, I hope, yeah, that might be, like, I wonder if that's gonna be a light base, but it scales with Fizz. Because it looks like a physical skill. Parasine Boy or whatever. It looks like a Fizz skill. And I'm wondering if they're gonna expand the whole Draco Strike system, where, like, there were all those generic animations where it was a fizz scaling spell for every type. I wonder if they're gonna. I wonder if that's gonna be Parasine Blur as like um, basically white Draco Strike, but not Obino unique and better. And so that like that would fuck up my uh, my plans. But at the same time, I don't think that that game is gonna be hard enough to justify. Plus, it also has respec. But I don't think it's gonna be hard enough to justify min maxing. So you can probably just use whatever the fuck you want, honestly. So good it's boring is why I didn't play Magic in DDS. Well, I don't agree with it in DDS, because yeah, it is so good, but I don't think it's boring. At least in DDS, you get the sensation of um the sensation of speed when you when you have a boss's elemental weakness locked down and you're just cycling your turns and you're able to like do your turn so fast that you like issue your command before the camera angle of the last attack ends. Shit like that. Like it just feels good for me at least to this is the game is beating DDS. Oh my god. Okay, this is the last attempt on this fight until I do something else, because this is rancid game design right now. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's enough of this right now. Fuck this. Fucking boss sucks! Had a good run though, getting all those chests. I'm curious what my reports. I'm gonna destroy Deep Jungle really fast. Check this out. I found out semi recently that, um, nice stop. DDS loads encounters so much faster on a PS3, maybe specifically with SSD, but maybe just PS3 as it is, it loads the encounters in so much faster than PS2 emulator does. And if you want to see this, go watch um, the world record for DDS1 from Mizushima, the Japanese runner that has the world record for Nocturne. Um, when, when encounters spawn in, it's just like immediately boom, bam, 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 bam. Everybody is like, Psh. And then you get to start your, like, you get to start inputting commands and actually know, playing the game much faster than emulator. And that is like, with the amount of encounters you get in that game, that's huge. Next time I play that game, it's going to be on a PS3 with SSD. 
maybe even CRT stream like the entire entire game. Mike Q with the 35 months, thank you very much. And Nella with the 14. Appreciate it. Everyone. Yeah, I, I think the next stream is going to be um, Ice Namisa. I want to do a quick cutscene skit playthrough of Soul Hackers, Ice Namisa, just mashing buttons. It'll be great. Yeah, I might even do post-game, depending on how well that build pans out for a uh, post-game grind. We'll see if I go all the distance and like get to Rido and shit, but that could be on the table. I like how on top of all of the subs, all the resubs, because I've been like offline for almost a month, it also coincided with my partner anniversary being like within that time, so all the like automated messages for that are there too. This is crazy. Feels good to be back. Full moon is a lack. What do you get? It's 240 million evils for ice, right? I forget what that one does. How do I play this game? Oh yeah. How do I touch the save point? Actually no, I want to get the chests. Ah. Slides? Oh, I didn't do that? Oh shit. Classic. Tarzan's accessories. Bro, do you think this guy, does he look like he has accessories? Look at this guy. He's on his hands and feet. With one empty accessory slot. He's broke. <laughs> it's rando, that's fair. I'm just, I'm just joking. Josh. As far as I know, the best Namisa level 75 skill is Full Moon Queen, just for the sake that it seems the best for doing that Soma chest grind. But if you're already level 75, you shouldn't need to grind anymore because, like, Fire Namisa gets the Fire one that can be used against Raido at level 75. So like, I'm trying to figure out what route would be better at killing the chest enemies um, before level 75. Y'all remember the uh, the Soma chest, right? Where if, where if you have full Soma capacity and you do the chest battle, you get to do that battle over and over again. I wasn't able to do that when I played uh, Fire and Namisa into post game. Because the enemies would just like they I didn't have a setup that could kill the enemies in one turn every well, time. Tazen? Where are my friends? 
I guess Meggy Dola from Electric Route would be able to do it in two turns because it's row based. He gets the first row and then the second row in two turns and maybe some might with that. Okay, now I can. I got the chests, now I can go and teleport. Oh, I didn't touch the save point? But I did. Okay, well, I'll just walk, I guess. The rust is real. I guess I've been moving fast. Getting stuff pretty quick. Okay, uh... There are two chests up here. I can get them after I teleport. Oh, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Go see Kirkchak first. I turned in a couple postcards, but I've gotten more, I think. That I haven't dealt with. I'm gonna make this, yeah. yeah. Okay, there are those. Those are the more annoying chests that are out of the way, but now I can go and do the rest of the world. save point is eligible. You get trendy for this world, right? Usually green. In the real game. Yeah? Okay. And a spell. You get cure. This is a pretty high value world in Rando to me. The power wild circuit. Usually red. Oh. Nice. Thank you for real. Okay, now I can teleport. You get the black materia. I'll make sure to give that promptly to Sephiroth. Just beat Yo. Chronicle Lucifer on hard. Oh shit, you did it! Went too far in some parts, but fantastic game overall. Godly Greninja with the four months, thank you very much. Did he DR, hun? He did? Okay. See ya. Doesn't he diorama if you difficulty toggle? He only DR huns on hard mode, right? Or am I gaslighting? I thought I remember there's this thing where if you typically toggle at any point in your save file, then it disables his Diara Han. But yeah, Root of Evil buff removal is rancid. Don't jump off, the Power Wilds are still there. Killed myself. Okay. I just pressed every button on my controller. <laughs> to make sure I didn't fall. Sora doesn't make a death noise in the Japanese versions of this game. I don't know about H I think he does in HD, but in PS2, H1 and 2, he doesn't make a noise when he dies. And his, his arm also breaks in the animation in 1J. Disturbing or something? I don't fucking know. 
He just dies. Ask them. Aerial sweep. Nice ability. I would like some HP, please. I've got more than enough defense right now. Give me cottage. You know what? Oh, you got lucky. You got so lucky. You got so lucky. Goofy? Asshole. <laughs> the guardian. Oh, hold on. I haven't ever thought about doing this, but this is gonna be really good here. Doesn't work. Who's he's gonna kill him before I get to do anything funny? God damn it. Fuck. I would have made him flat if I hit him with a gravity break, but Goofy just R's him to fucking death. Damn it. No fun allowed. Oh, yes, the return of the king. <laughs> Dr. Scrunch with the 33 months, thank you very much. Fire! I got another MP off of that. Creation the battle theme already? Damn. I hope I hope Alice just posts it. I didn't need to walk in here. soon. It's like two months. DDS OST on Spotify? No, it's still not. Maybe they're cooking up something special. Nine is? Yeah. I don't know. I guess that nine is considered like semi-attached to uh... To main line. But yeah, I don't get it. Speaking of SMD5, I'm gonna remix this song. That doesn't work. I think it works. Really works. I'm dead, I got shot. I'm dead. 
I didn't think I was like. I didn't think you could aim up. Okay, like I deserve that. Fucking sound. Clayton's gun. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Is your king dumb? Don't shoot me. Because he does he almost save me from that. To go on a run. To go free. To accelerate the freedom of his biology while eating his own damaged flesh and blood. To greet the growth points that are required to raise the king dumb. So we can have this dumb. Nah, I'm just going straight in. Can you get stuff? No. How can Leon get stopped from this guy can't? I don't expect my potion to give me full HP, I guess it's not coach too. Trick plus! Alright, we're free. This is a crazy glass cannon seed. I guess it's because there are later versions of Leon that so um, good. are actually programmed to work against really Stop. Good. We're going to get some um, Benadryl. That makes sense. Oh, I got actual arrow. That's really good. Now I can play the game. Mr. Cabo is still with us. Depends on what you define as still with us. Incarcerated isn't exactly with us fully. But yeah, he's uh, he's alive. That's a lot, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. He's in jail for cyber stalking and harassment, which is the least surprising thing that could have happened to Martin Cabello III. If you know like anything about him and his content and the things he says, it's like yeah, that's like the least surprising thing that's ever happened to anyone. Yellow Trinity. What do I do with that? It's a shitty one, but I got a spell for it. Actually, you get Blizzard for that. That's huge. Yeah, like, five contempt of court counts on him as well, which I can only imagine would be the funniest shit to experience. Here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. Where am I flying? Oh yeah, I have glide. Means I can do that. Space. Oh shit, my damage sucks here. I need that extra effort belt. Did I just, Andy sort of just fucked off because he got hit once and died. That's funny. Uh, I hate when this happens and there are enemies down there and they don't okay. ever die. And uh, I have to go down and deal with it myself. I'm gonna die. That was really good. We're gonna get some um, Benadryl. Seven seals. Seven seals. Martin is actually, You're he's just dead. like that. He's just like them. You're dead. They will hunt you down like a dog. Yeah, he's in prison as a bit. Yeah, totally. He's, no, he's, he's like that. 
I forgot. Andy Sora can show up in this room if you somehow have yellow trandy at this point in the game. How did I die to shadows? I just realized I died. How the fuck did I die to shadows? What is my defense? I already have a title for the fucking stream. The, uh, the absurd glass cannon. Eight defense. But then the thumbnail. Kingdom Hearts emblem piece. Was that even hinted? That's actually bizarre. Spoofs, spoofs, spoofs. What a shame. Uh, I can do this now. This is probably the best kind of seed I could have gotten as my first stream back, having all this movement, because I'm in like such a yapping mood right now. Going across everything in like whatever order I want. Nothing P3 right now that you finished it. Cool remake, not worth $70. Let alone $105 for the DLC. Setting and my personal opinion. At least as a streamer specifically, it's hard for me to enjoy the long haul of a game like that. There's just too much. It takes too long. A lot of filler. But, you know, it's Persona. So, modern Persona. I just learned that it's very unlikely for me to tap back into an experience like that on a stream. Is the game volume too loud? In my voice. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm dead again! This fucking fight, dude. This is the gatekeeper of everything. I'm gonna try it one more time. I think the game is worth 50. It's a little loud, but you're louder. I will turn it down, because I'm, I just realized I'm still turned up the master audio from Persona 3 streams. Let me know if that's too, like, quiet now. That should be good. speedrun is trash. Also, I'm curious. Do they kill the Reaper at level 14? Do you use Sig? Oh, okay, so basically my, my playthrough. I'm sniping this guy. I'm tired of this. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've ha I'm done. Bufu. Bufu dying. I'm dead! He had one HP. Listen, I know I can do it now. Oh, thanks, Donald. This is good that I arrowed because my arrow lasts longer than his on me because he only has like 4 MP or 3 or whatever and I'm fucking dying. I was like, this is like the best deep freeze spam I've ever done. Okay. We're free. Yes, man. Peddler? What is that? I heard that. Okay, I had to make sure. 
What if the Kingdom Hearts game can you clearly hear that an item has dropped from across the room? Which uh, you, what are the game in general? Report one. I don't need anything else, but I want that report one because I don't think I have that. Yeah, it's expensive, but I'll I'll buy it without scumming because I want it and I don't care. <laughs> Call of Duty sound touring. Yeah, I guess. That's a crazy fucking term. Last time I heard it was during COD 4 Pro Mod Nights. Real ones, remember? I have to piss, I'll be right back. You got games on your phone? I am back. Thank you very much, Rikun, for the gift of sub. To Dan. What's up, Dan? How do I... Uh... Wait, 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 there we go. This way. What's good? I'm chilling. Just got back from a very, very nice vacation. Well-needed one. Playing the best Kingdom Hearts randomizer right here. KH1 random superiority. And for the best boss fight in all of Kingdom Hearts as well. You know it, you already know. Any tiger head heads out here? This fight was actually way better in 1J. He does this for 20 I beams worth of time instead of like 8 in that version. He never shakes you off. Sliding dash and more MP, we love to see it. 
1J is so funny, I cannot wait for my video to be done to show off uh, everything about it in CRT vision to top it all off. Okay, I, I, I will get hit. Ooh, I dodged that. Beyond, I can get to the library now, I guess. Get me up, Aladdin. Uh, how many ammo pieces do I have now with that? Oh, I have three! I didn't... I, I got one, I didn't realize it. Alright. Sorry, raft heads. This one's looking like it's getting put away pretty quick. Yeah, it's definitely neck and neck right now. Totally, like, you know. It is, it's anyone's game. Ripple drive. Weird ability. Kind of sucks because you don't have iframes, frames or else it'd be good. It's your anniversary as a partner. Yo, impersonated. Yeah, I, um, not this, this specific day, but... Um, three fucking years ago, in 2021, I got my, uh, partner badge in April, early April. Or mid-April, I don't remember exactly. God, it's been a number of years, hasn't it? Twenty twenty one was definitely a very crazy stream year for me because I had like it's so much to do in the initial year and I think I kinda of slowed down a little bit after that. But I've got a lot that I still wanna do that I'm oh strike raid. I have a lot that I wanna do that is still very like I've I've mostly been sitting on a lot of things that I've wanted to do because I just haven't like been in the right headspace for them or motivated enough and also like kind of struggling to have these ideas and also uh, stream on a regular basis and also like have time offline to make videos um, but from now on I'm not gonna be streaming on a regular basis like I was especially with like Persona 3 Reload and all that shit um, unless it's like Vengeance comes out and I'm streaming that on a regular basis because it's Vengeance but I don't wanna... I want to normalize the idea of not being online for like a week or two, just like... Maybe not two weeks, but like... I wanna normalize maybe like going live once a week sometimes if I have a lot that I wanna work on or if I wanna focus on like a quality, like one ambitious stream that I wanted to do and then like chill for a while, you know? I always felt like I had this pressure to uh, stream too much. Yeah, I've got me. Um, because that's, that's the way that Twitch kind of works. It can be just as, like... It can, it can fuck with a streamer's brain just as much as... It can, as much as Twitch can fuck with, like, chatter's brains as well. The idea of, like, you know, wanting to be, like, subscribed and, like, kind of dipping into parasocial territory. Um, that happens to the streamer as well. The feeling that you need to maintain your sub count and, oh yeah, you need to get uh, 150 partner points for three months so you get a 10% raise and, like, shit like that. Um, and I've been kind of susceptible to that uncritically for a while, but I want to, like, kind of make it clear that, yeah, I might not be online for, like, a week from time to time if I just don't feel like streaming or I want to focus on quality over quantity, but, you know, just had to figure that out in my own time. Streaming your primary source of revenue, it's tied with, um, oh, well, actually, for the time being, it has been, just because I have a stream archive that makes a considerable amount on the side as well, but it is still, I consider it streaming still, because it's, you know, 
I get more out of it if I'm here streaming the most, but if I were actively doing YouTube like I used to, it would be tied, pretty much. It entirely depends on how much time I'm able to put into one or the other. How much do I have to donate to derail with another Tony Hawk? Well, I TP. What's up? Corbid. I'll do that shit for free, honestly. Next break, I will play, um... The Thug One YTP. It's safe for stream, right? The whole... Yeah, the whole four minutes of that. Yeah. This guy's getting destroyed today. How'd you get away? He's not getting away. Bitch! Yeah, that, that guy's channel is very, very underrated. Those Tony Hawk YTPs are really fucking good. Nav gummy, so I can loot into the world. I might just do that. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Why do I fire on? I got gravity. Let's go. Yeah, I saw the the Bam Margera Thug Two One as well. Chad Muska. What's he know? Observer with the 35, thank you. Oh, I hit him. He's gonna get mad. I wonder if you can double hit the, the lamp. Ooh, I wanna test this. Hold on. I'm gonna wait until I can line them up. I wanna double hit. Wait for him to go down so I can like snipe both at the same time. Oh yeah, strike rate is gonna get me through end of the world like for free. I think I might need more strength though. I don't remember the breakpoints. Oh, it doesn't go far enough right now from here. It is double hitting. Oh, he's mad. Okay. That was a long load screen. It's because I was in a limit, that's why. I just remembered. Um, this has happened to me with the Ragnarok. If you're in a limit, the game will hold on that in slow motion because you're recovering from the limit and the game like doesn't let anything else happen and it's also like 10% speed. It happens real bad if you have like a Ragnarok projectiles that are still floating around and not letting the limit end to like the fade out of the limit. That's what that was. Can you die at this part? Yeah, that's like that's the that's the objective here. Look. It ends it faster. That's actually the quickest death I think I've ever had there because I have no fucking defense. You don't lose anything. It's just better because it's faster and yeah, it just ends. 
It's just better. I didn't get, um, treasure room. People are saying that new Nahobina looks like Surf. I don't see it. He's cool looking, but I don't see it. I'm not allowed to go in there. I guess I'll fuck off forever and die. Blades. Varna blades. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a bit of a stretch, though, still. Short gray hair. That, too. Yeah, that I can get. I want... See, actually, you know what I was thinking? People saying Surf. I was thinking Varna. Not Surf, like his demon form. Not Surf himself. Yeah, I really like the new looking Nahobino. I think it's a neat idea to, uh... It seems like it's gonna be, like, kind of like Chaos Hero fusing with a demon in SMT1. But at the same time, it's kind of what Nahobino is in the first place, so it's like a double fusion onto a human. Which is cool because you don't get to see Nahobino's mouth, so it's kind of like this whole, like, loss of humanity aspect to the design that's really cool. And it's also a very cool flex to, um... I did get the secret room chests. It's a cool flex to take your silent pro tag and then take away their facial expressions for the entire rest of the game. That's really fucking cool. Poop is clean, I'll DM it to you. <laughs> That's a normal sentence, thank you very much, Corbin. The idea- yeah, the idea of taking Nahobino and making him only be able to express himself with his eyes... ...is... ...very cool. I think it's a fusion with the re-release girl. I think it's a fusion with, um, Tsukiyomi, because of the scythes. And also the fact that Tsukiyomi is also basically Algami, because, like, the same dude. Kinda. Naobino, Purple Bino having purple scythe arms, you know? I'm so excited. It's clearing out the enemy so they don't give me a headache. I don't need to kill them for chests, but you know. I'm getting it on PC, hello. It's just more convenient. The only advantage to getting things on console is the ability to, um... Be able to use your mouse as a streamer. While also the game being uninhibited by your inputs on your mouse. Because, like, modern games, especially Atlas games, will do this. They just, like, immediately pause and freeze when you fucking click out and it's annoying. I think I want to do magic build, but the good thing is it won't be super strict because the game has respec and also the game isn't strict with builds much either, like at all, in terms of like damage output. Because you get baseline stats anyways, so. Uh. I was thinking magic. I just think I enjoy magic more than fizz after doing a playthrough of either or both when I. the last time I played five. It feels like playing DDS when you do magic build in 5. That's what I like about it. And also you get, like, exclusive strategies like, um... Dismissing your entire party and then attacking 5 times. I guess you can do that technically with Fizz build if you pop critical. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Pretend you're playing the better game. I remember when I played, um, at least the way that SMT5 Vanilla is, uh, I was talking a lot of shit because I was like, oh yeah, Magic Build is just a lot better for the early, like, the mid and, like, close to late game, um, 
and Fizz build is so busted that you don't even need high strength to benefit from Murakumo, Crit Aura, Crit Zealot, uh, Double Almighty Pomora, the entire stack. You don't even need 150 strength or whatever you get to in that game. You don't even need that much strength for that build to be absurdly good. You can just do magic build, pump all your points into magic, and then switch to that build in the very end and it'll still just break everything for free always. So like, who even cares about stat distribution? That's not even a commitment, especially when you have respect. Yeah, and if you don't invest points in the strength, that game has... You get three points automatically distributed and then one that you actually get to choose. So you're gonna have like 70, 80 strength by that point anyways, so... Murakumo plus Impaler's Animus plus Critical... You're trying to bait me. You're trying to bait me and I see exactly what you're doing because I know you're smarter than this. I know you're smarter than this. Impaler's Animus on an almighty- LeBron James reportedly used Impaler's Animus on an almighty Fizz build. See ya. See ya. Is it not a charge? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so... Murakumo, in its skill description, says higher effects on critical. And critical zealot is a passive that increases critical damage but decreases non-critical damage. So you get two forms of critical boost. There's a skill in the game called Critical Eye that guarantees your next attack will hit and also crit. So you can guarantee that you get two extra forms of boost on top of the double almighty boost that you already have from Murakumo. Impaler's Animus is for Fizz skills that you need to pierce with because it'll, it'll, it it charges by like 1.4 or 1.8 or some shit, but also it's like, yeah, it's 1.8, but it, um, it's times 1.8, but it also, uh, you know, pierces, but you don't need pierce if you're almighty Fizz. Swan Love Joe with the 41 months, thank you very much. 42. Yeah. He's back. I, I, put, I put that build together on stream live without like any any advice like uh, you know when the game first came out nobody knew what anything really was uh, didn't even know that charge wasn't 1.8 until like late game but um yeah that, that build like I, I I saw all the skills I got and I put it all together and I'm like damn this is like the best shit ever Yeah, and then there's Figment Slash as well, which is, a uh, Iron Claw for SMT5, but instead of it being low accuracy, high crit, it's low accuracy, guaranteed crit, but you can put passives together, the Beast Eye passive, that basically makes sure that you'll never miss. And it does more damage than, um, is that what you use Impalers for? I guess you use Impaler so that you can always hit with that, because it is more potent, and it's a generic skill, which is very funny. Oh yeah, that build can go fuck itself because it's banned. And it's for bitches. And speedrunners. Which is the same same thing. I got green trinity, I don't remember. Should I watch your first or second SMT5 VOD? Um it's probably if you haven't seen either, it's probably more exciting to watch the first one so you can see my reactions to everything. And also me doing things blind. I would imagine. <laughs> Just can't win. No tech issues. Those are kind of funny though, when you look at the, the Switch playthrough. I didn't look at this. I bought this report and I didn't look at it. I jumped in the Terminus though, and this sucks. Drinking water for Behemoth though. It's gonna be an emblem route today. I'm one away. It's almost done. Yeah, I love that one of those Vengeance trailers has like 30 seconds in the end, they're just like, nothing but music, and it goes so hard. 
I'm using arrow, just let's unlock him to death. You know the timing. Rocks is a cure task for the 10 months. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back. Oh, yeah, Raft is dead because that's Behemoth. Yeah. Sorry, Raft again. Thanks for believing me. Yeah, I need to look at those uh, those replicas because the, they. I remember people were pretty good at making the replicas when the first game was coming out, the original, the vanilla game. Engage with the 11 months. Like Thank you. Productions, you're back. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't gone for 10 years. Thank you very much. For the 11 months, 9 months streak, not 11. Yeah, Impalers is a good skill if you're using standard phase, but that's the only time you should ever use it. Murakumo just. Murakumo Critical Zealot. It's like two forms of crit damage boost. How much. How much extra damage do you get from Murakumo's built in. Crit bonus as well as zealot stack. It might be more than 1.8 times. <laughs> is this the DDS area selection? Is KH1 always had the song? KH1 always had the song. Atlas just like ripped it from uh from KH1. Now this is a mod. That's some Necronomics. We out here. Loving Digital Devil Saga even while playing Kingdom Hearts 1. I didn't stall my thing, my bub. Ten K damage on Shiva fight. Yeah, it, Shiva fight wasn't all that hard because, like, for me, because I had that build and I was on normal, so it was still difficult. It was still challenging because I didn't know how anything worked. But I was hitting massive damage and I was able to more or less brute force the fight with that build. 275 normal, 331 you crit. What about Zealot? Does, do we know anything about the Zealot modifier on top of that? On my second playthrough, I was on hard. Why am I in this room? Where am I? What was I... What did I come here for? Who am I? Dolphins. Whoa, boy. Candon27, with the four months, thank you. Zealot normal is 10% debuff, 45% buff. Wow. <laughs> Best fucking passive in the game, what the hell? I thought it would be much harder, harsher if you weren't critting. It would be awesome if Vengeance got the, um, that, like, Persona 3 and Persona 4 protag treatment that Royal got. It really should have, um, imagine 3D Flynn. When it's 3D already. Well, 3D battle, Flynn. True. HD, Flynn. I didn't have that. Nice. I got a golden chain, that's better for defense. Oh, I'm gonna take like no damage to 
fire. If I st I'm just gonna stay with this stack because it's funny. Fuck defense. I'll have no defense against anything but Chernabog. And I'll have, what was it, multiplicative, um... What is multiplicative 40% times 3 resistance? It's not 120, but it's like... I don't know how to calculate mul mul multiplicative anything. I have green train deck and moogle it up. No thunder though, so I can't get those two postcards. I think SMT Mobile is a test game for new 3D models for demons. They've been using, they've been reusing demon models since nine. They don't need to test shit. Shout out to Solicurus too for giving us um, Devil Summoner demons in uh, Vengeance. So. Yeah, I guess they can take, um, they can always take demons from DX2 and just use them wherever. I have chest piece, right? SMT4 was a 2012 game, I don't remember when the 3DS came out. 2013? I thought it was 2012 when 4 came out. Maybe you're thinking of English. Tried to play DX2 like Pokemon Go, but they actually want you to play DX2 and it sucks. It sucks! That game doesn't have stacking um, press turns, right? So if like you, if you Aji an enemy twice in a row that's weak to fire or whatever, um, you don't get two blinking turns, you just, you end up with three. Instead of having four with two blinking. Kind of a funny system, it's like the reverse of what five did with stacking pass turns. What piece do I need? Treasure chest, stone, blue flame. What's the fourth one? Waterfall. I had drinking water in the store, but who care? Three times the 40% booth is, if my math is right, starting at 100% ends up at 274%. First of all, your math is not right. <laughs> Because it, it can't go above 100%. That's the whole reason why it's multiplicative in the first place. Um, or else you'd be taking no damage at all, right? It's like Cage 2 actually lets you see the percentage when you put everything on. And like, the first one's 40%, but then the second one multiplies and it's like maybe 60 or something. Less. You get less as you put on more. But it cannot be 274%. That much I know. The attacks heal you. What is this? FF7? When you stack uh, added effects enough times or elemental enough times? Twenty-one point six. How can it be lower than forty? Seventy-eight percent resistance. Oh, you, you said the number backwards. Okay. Um. That actually, they, uh, that's the number I was expecting, yeah. Okay. How much is it if you only have two? Is it 60? See ya. I have no idea how to calculate multiplicative anything. It's 40% times 40% times 40%. How do you multiply a percent? I guess you might have to factor in the damage that you would have been taking for the math to make sense. 64%. Okay. Oh, you m multiply the decimal. Okay, that sounds familiar. Alright, numbers. We win this time. You ever be in the middle of doing something and just think you were made to do more than this? That's the deepest thing I think I've ever heard in the Twitch chat. The most profound message that may have ever been sent. 
I'm gonna pin that for the rest of the stream. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Here, I'll, I'll do it. There we go. Set a click off. I don't know if you can do it on mobile. Mobile sucks. Sucks! 100 times 0. 0.4, 40, 40 times... I'm not gonna read the rest of that, but thank you. <laughs> they did buff mobile a little bit recently, though, by having, like, a chat overlay option. So you can full screen and have, like, a... Like, a PNG chat box or whatever. Missing thunder. Hey, another hard drive. Did I get that red trinity. It did. I think I have definitely been a little rusty on chest locations, but I've been pretty good at, like, kind of looking at chat and getting everything at the same time. Thunder on gravity? It, I believe so. better for goofy R's, a kind of shield. I don't even think it makes a difference much the the look of it. Red Trinity, Gold Chamber, Aggro, probably. I probably did. Let's, um... Let's keep that in the back of our minds, because I don't want to take the time to go on a wild goose chase looking for shit now. I'd rather do that when I have, like, every Trinity if it gets to that point in the seed. I'm gonna kill, uh, I'm gonna get my shadow back. Let's do it. I missed two chests. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, Stranger Paradise, I do think I want to start up just like an occasional uh, playthrough of that game on like Steam, Steam version, and like kind of fuck around with that every now and again. Based only playthrough, no Zantetsuken. We'll see. That game definitely lets you just kind of like, it's like a specific axe combo slot that just lets you destroy everything. So playing that game optimally is the wrong way to play it. Playing it optimally in a fun way is what you want to do. Oh god, Harry Andy over here. Ah. Uh, this fight sucks! Sucks! I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, okay. Nice whiff, thank you Goofy. They're always pushing things out of the way with Goofy R's. I think that's the stress, to actually unironically do bonk combo like that. Yeah, fun maxing, that's like a motto of this stream, honestly. 
the way that I do things wrong to piss people off that are fussed about playing video games optimally. We fun max around here. Also, forgetfulness maxing. And yap maxing. That's how it's done around these parts. Soda maxing. True. Soda maxing will always be in our hearts. Heal up the clock! Clock! I never did that one time, it was great. I sort of maxed. I can get through this fight, I just need to not get fucking owned. It's like the worst trade in the history of all trades. I don't know if he's even gonna take all the damage from this or he's just gonna go underground and invalidate it. Oh, he took the damage, I think. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, holy! Donald has set advance to Brer and he just did that. What the hell? Donald just like woke up in real life. Bro. Why do I not have slap shot? Can somebody explain that to me? I need to know. I just make like the CSGO Zeus player sound effect. Okay, Donald. Why do we just like fuse and you stop at the exact same time? That's interesting. I should take up high jump. Every time I do this fight, if I have no high jumps, it'll be easier to do this combo. I have two high jumps on right now, that's why I'm over jumping in the roomless ceiling. <gasps> I looked at my health bar and I was like, there's no way I'll die at this breakpoint. I did. He fucking died. Cocaina. No. Flower. Somebody just asked me um, why I hate the military. Alright, we got this right here. Check this out. Oh, this is so much better. What is Donald up to? Is he actually set to advance constant? He's the third time. Oh, that this is wow i've never done this before and this is so much fucking better taking off high jump for this write this down take off high jump when you go in this fight it's just so much better to do low hops and actual air combos in this asshole oh no okay that almost happened an asshole you just do finishers immediately as double berserk. Uh, finishing plus. Finishing uh, combo negative. Okay.
Yeah, that fight sucks. How did I get through it on level one? I did a level one playthrough, right? Yeah, I did. What did I do there? Did I like genie? I hope I didn't softlock. Ribbon. If you skip that cutscene, you don't get to see what you got. Do I put them in the ray of light? I think I do. Yeah, level one cage one is not meant to be. I wish I had thunder so I could do thunder loop on this guy, but I think I have enough MP for stop to just be a full stun lock easily. I am like so stunned every time I die because I'm not expecting it uh, with how much health I have. <laughs> Got blasted. I really need to arrow it up constantly. I like randomized uh, keyblade stats a lot. I remember there was a period of time where they put in. A, actually, it was against the idea when it first came out because I wanted Ultima Weapon to always be an exciting thing to see. Like, it'd be like, oh, it's Ultima instead of being like, oh, Ultima, is it gonna be shitty? I actually might do another. I did a seed a while ago where I turned off randomized keyblade stats. Um, I might try that again just so Ultima Weapon showing up can be cool again. I got guaranteed to be cool. It's like the only downside. I should have items on it. Well, I want to elixir right now, but I can't. Thunder Loop is so cool because you can kill the battleship and then he'll do that animation every time he tries to break out of thunder and you can just thunder him and he won't ever do anything. It's better than stop loop, honestly. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have enough MP to do the thing I wanted to do. Let me. There we go. Yeah, it's cheaper as well. I don't. I think he'll do the animation for parrying the thunder, even if the thunder is low hopped and it doesn't come out. In the gravity, fucking. Thanks. Donald must be set to constant advance because I just heard him stop again. Stop. 
Sora, what are you doing? He's like fleeing to the opposite side off of the um, the finisher. It was like a double high jump moment, I think. The way that it made Sora fuck with his tracking. Okay. I should have had more time there. What the hell? What? How was he in the air for that one? What kind of hang time was that? Finish him off with this. Bitch. <laughs> Just short. Yeah, how much AP do I have? I have like no abilities to equip. That's a problem. I have blitz. That would have been nice to have last fight. I'm putting on Vortex. I don't have shit. Vortex is cool when you don't have anything else. It's actually kind of a pseudo shitty version of um, Circle Break from Cage 2. Vicinity Break. Actually has some AoE capacity to it. It's respectable. And also a tiny bit extra damage on its calculation. Its calculation. Bambi. God slash is ass. It's just not worth using when there are things. The thing is that there are things better than it. It's it's fine if you have nothing else, just like Vortex, but that doesn't make it good. But yeah, it's ass. There's, there's no redeeming qualities to it over the things that are, like, better to use. It's just not terrible on its own if you don't have anything else. But that's not a real circumstance, so... Did I get two reports? I might have already had them. Mushroom, Chamber 6. I think I had one, but I didn't have ten. I think I have a, uh... How's it better and recoded? It's a finisher. And also it doesn't have the same like whiff capacity and it does good damage and you only, you can only use it with a long keyblade, that's like the, the way that it works. Yeah, I have two ones because I bought one like a clown. Got ripped off like Tanaka's again. I have the Navgum, I've had it for a while, I just haven't installed it. I could loot there if I feel strong enough, which I don't. Halloween Town is always a thing. I haven't done Wonderland at all. I haven't stepped foot into Olympus. I did, but I haven't gotten anything. Let me get Blizzard Chests. And then consider doing, just sitting through, uh, Cups. I only need one more thing. The Trinity? I can get the green. I d can't get the white, though, but I can get the green. Do I have the blue? Green, green, what is your problem? Why is this feature? I don't know, it's a it's kind of a weird one. Yeah, there's Bazaar chest, but I don't Bazaar chest. Berserk for Goofy? Okay, you know what, why not? Let's do prelims. Fuck it. It'll take like two seconds to do. Let me just make sure. There we go. 
the worst Nocturne Fizz kill? Which one is it? Lunge? Mathematically, it's Lunge, but... Being like Oni Kagura. Berserk? Oh, you're talking about Berserk. Berserk can fuck you up sometimes. If, 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 if it's gonna crit, the entire thing crits. Holy oh, Vortex. Oh, that scared me. Vortex is cool if you have a long Keyblade and you have enough stats to like one-shot a bunch of shadows around you. Like, check this out. That's not Vortex. Well, this is why Vortex sucks right there, that little wind-up that does no damage. Nice tracking. This is why people think this game sucks! This is how they play the game, they're like, wow, Cage 1 sucks, because they're just like, ground-attacking aerial enemies. Why am I doing this instead of Blizzard? <laughs> Relax. There we go. Why can I summon? No, I can't. Okay. The fade out was weird. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, that last hit of Striker is great, especially on PS2 when things just hit harder. Call out. Real shit activated. Why does he block? I think he's supposed to be that. This guy guards on hit. He's like plus on hit. Oh, he's dead. Thank you, Goofy. Goofy just pierced. I'm not afraid. Here. Oh, I fucked up. You know how long it took to get all nine of those parries when I made the KH1 experience 2.0? And then also have a fight after that that was like acceptable quality. Really long time. Oh, the blizzard was in the cutscene. Fluoride stare. Well, those prelims. Uh, there's still more to do. If I, this is like the most annoying thing to do in Rando is sit through cups because you're just kind of stuck in one spot, and half of it is like you, just, you go through it so fast, half is just waiting. That's so like. Sucks. I'm gonna just run through Wonderland real quick just to shoot for density right now. Oh yeah, I have a salmon in the fridge. Did you know how much I love salmon? Thought I forgot. Eating good tonight after stream. Least surprising info. Yo, Dream Bomb with the raid. Thank you very much. I am back. I hope you had fun streaming.
here's my gas can. My brother Josh blew himself up and his two kids. Grab claw, what the fuck? Rare keyboard shit sucks. Yeah, these are real enemies, I can fuck you up. They're post hollow bastion exclusives. These fellas are easy though. Yeah, it's really important to get as much synthing done as you can pre Hollow Bastion. Especially this room right here is perfect for it, pre Hollow Bastion, because you get um, three types of shards and I think two types of gems. One or two types of gems. With Bambi. Bambi farming is so fucking buff in vanilla, you don't even know. You have three times, two to three times the odds for most. Items and every consumable that you can get. I didn't push in the the, the bed. What? Oh, right, it's this. Give me my spell. Forgot that can happen if you have the claw marks already. Um. Fucked up my whole train of thought. Like three times over. Oh yeah, uh, Bambi in vanilla. The odds are two to three times better to get the gems for filling the gauges. Gauges? Gauges? And also, um... You get better items, like you can get elixirs and mega elixirs off of it. Instead of just getting standard potion for like every tier one. And also vanilla requires you to get like a third the less materials and no rare heartlesses and no stones. Engage. Vanilla cage experience dropping. It's been three thousand years. I'm in. A, I'm finally in a good place to actually make that video. So it's like eighty percent done because I have all of the, like I have all the footage I think I'll need. I'm just writing the script and then recording it and then like that's like the. Like, all the bulk of it is done, it's just I've been sitting on it for a good time for me to actually be able to do it. I've never gotten a legitimately unlocked Final Mix Ultimate Weapon either, it's just not worth it. Sucks. Expert mode is so funny. Calling it expert mode in the first place. When I played, um, when I got through uh, my English playthrough and I did something, I had just enough Gale by the end of. Um, what am I danger? What the fuck? You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I got a gale right at the end of um, the, the final room fights. Uh, you need nine gale overall in that version, and I got the ninth at the very end. It's just there, everything that you can get is just a little bit easier as well. Most things at least. Some things are a tiny bit less. Uh, likely to drop, but most things are more. In um, it's it's a little different in 1J as well. Some things are more or less likely to drop as well. The the, King, the good Kingdom Hearts wiki actually has good um, good differentiation between them with the odds for 1J and 1E as opposed to FM. Diamond Dust has the best magic stat, but it has like a three strength stat or something abysmal. But it has the most amount. I fucked up. That's the first time I ever fucked that up. There's a tree in front of the door. Sucks.
Diamond Dust gets 3 MP. Ultima only gets 2. This Keyblade has a crit bonus of like 12. Which is like 4 times higher than normal Keyblades that have crit bonus. Actually like 6 times higher. So this is the best crit blade in the game. Not even, it's like, it's got bad crit odds, but it has good crit bonus. Critical Zealot Keyblade. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> LeBron James sat in the chair with arms. I need to make a bunch of versions of that. I just remembered what to do. Yeah, this Keyblade kind of looks shitty. I just like the fire trail on it. Somebody made like the the obligatory Lobon James invested magic into Demi Fiend meme, but it's actually magic build is not bad in Nocturne. It's only memed on because of Lucifer lol, but like magic build is actually very good for most things. It's just fizz build is easier when you don't know specifics about the game. But magic build, you don't even need to invest points into magic in the early game, really, because, like, Tornado Force Boost is good even if you have, like, a minimum magic stat and you just have, like, points from Magatamas. Yeah, it's funny that TD, even though magic is, like, so good otherwise, like, you get enough magic from demons anyways. Demons set up for magic. Just build your Demi Fiend for Lucifer and you're good because like you just get a good Fizz skill by the very end. Iron Claw if you're on that route. The fan translation of Chronicles made Pierce work with magic. I think you're thinking of... Um, giving Rido Pierce? I don't think there's ever been... unless it's like a mod. Which I think you described me actually. Um, Pierce with magic, that's not a thing. It's not a legal thing. Are they talking about hard type? Is that a thing in hard type? I don't even think it's a thing in hard type either. Yeah, Raido got Pierce in Chronicle. Dante didn't, though. That's the big buff that was added. Hey, the chairs are back. Oh, I, I think that means you can double dip the chairs, actually. Only for Magma Axis? Oh, because it uses HP. That's pretty cool. mind to do a Magma Axis playthrough of Nocturne one day. Hard TDE Magma Axis. Say fuck it and I'll, I'll deal with Lucifer with that shit anyways. I'll make it work. Oh, I smell re something really good being cooked right now and I'm mad now. Whatever that is, smells really fucking good. I'm pissed. Yeah, we haven't heard shit for four. Yet. It'll happen soon, though. Probably this summer. E3 season, perhaps. Look at how high I'm going in the air with double high jump uh, aerial sweep. <laughs> E3. Yeah, whatever it is. Jeff Keighley's birthday party? Yeah, we'll hear from him then. How much better is Wind Cutter versus Magma Axis? Also, did Shiner have Monkey as well, doing insane fizz damage anyways, in that run? True! <laughs> Can't check with 100 bits, thank you very much. 
pull custom controls to FF16. Yeah, I did see that. Um, I'm not in a place where I want to stream long-ass JRPGs for a while until at least Vengeance. But... Yeah, thank god. They needed to add that. It's pretty cool. There are more things I can get in this world, but I really don't want to. Unless I'm forced to. It's not worth my time yet. Ain't got time. I'm gonna get Trinity. I wasn't asking you to stream it. Oh yeah, no, I was just more so referring to anybody else in chat that might like... I've Because I've been asked about it already today. But it's cool. I Maybe I'll, it's something I'll look into like for my own time. Also that feature that they added where you get to teleport straight back to the quest giver. Apparently that was a big problem. Donald's just going crazy there, you see that? But yeah, I'm very, very wary after feeling obligated to go through all of Persona 3 Reload. I really don't want to be doing anything doing anything like that for a long ass time. Real voice. What the fuck is happening to me? California with the raid, thank you very much, just in time. For me to real voice. Persona 3 months. <laughs> That's good. Nice voice crack buddy. Bubbled with the 40 fucking months, thank you very much. Bubble chests I still need to get, but I'll... I'll get them now. Woo! Popeye's biscuit! I have double high jump. I can really just get all the chests I want out here. This is great. I don't even need Dumbo skip. I love being able to just jump up here. This is like the best movement seat I think I've ever had. I just don't have super glide yet. Elmo! Hello! I wonder, I forget what day. Why do I have Divine Rose? Oh yeah, the wooden sword thing. Um, I forget what exactly my partner anniversary day was. I could probably find it if I looked through my email. But it was definitely in April. <laughs> Happy partner anniversary. Calvary with the 31 months, thank you very much. Force. Refresh the page and keep saying Happy Partner Anniversary. Does it doesn't does it not expire? That's funny. Fuck. It just like comes back every time you click on the page. Goofy ass feature. Oh my god. You weren't kidding. Unless you just copy pasted that with mod privilege. Like, what's up here? Up oh, enter. Oh. I guess that works too. Happy Pop Nettie Hyena with the third 20 months I had to like look in a different place in chat for that because of the spam. Stop streaming. Stop it. I remember once when I was emulating fucking uh, Tony Hawk PS3, one of the PS3 games, the the yellow outline that shows up in chat when you have a raid, um, that raid highlight, that actually broke my emulator and like fucked up the performance by like a significant magnitude. It was really funny. 
Thank you, PS3 emulation, for being normal. Somehow, Xbox 360 emulation is better in my experience. Double dodge roll, okay. Persona intoxication. Well, it was that, plus also I had a really nice vacation. I met up with a lot of people. And just needed time off to sort some personal things out. It all just worked out, all came together really nicely. Els Nort with the three Before months. Thank you very much. Hope I said that right. <laughs> Lost it all in Vegas. All the sub money gone. I was in Vegas and then I was in Orlando. I stayed at Ship's house for like four days. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Ladies, he has Karomi Blosser picks. He's goaded. Absolutely goaded. One at a time. Karomi everything, based. I don't know what is being cooked above me right now, but something smells really fucking good. It's gonna really motivate me to like, finish this seed quicker, so I can eat my little salmon. Stroke test? Every stream I do is a stroke test. I <laughs> spent too long looking for my mentally ill hello kitty girl that I became one. Real shit. Storking my shit. Stupid style. <laughs> Alright, now I got my real Keyblade back. Oh yeah, I just realized Strike Raid plus this Keyblade is guaranteed crits, guaranteed extra plus 12. Check this out. Too bad this guy resists limit damage by like 50% or some weird shit, some weird number. Now bikers eat their skitty. Oh, Aurora sets this guy's revenge value off. I got like a stupid fight. It's okay, I can just I can steamroll him. I have the DPS utility check here. Does Strike Rate have an ailment attached to it in this game? Like Sonic Blade does? Stun? Yeah. Do you know? Ailment is Lugma? It's the least amount of level ups I've ever gotten from this guy in a run. I really delayed this guy. It stuns? Okay, yeah, so that means Riku doesn't take full damage to it. Maybe that's why ours cost 3 MP instead of 2. Like in J. They realized that it's just so good against bosses if you're good at the game, and so they hate people that are good at the game. They hate fun. They hate me, personally. Blue Trinity? Oh yeah, I got Blue Trinity. It might just be the best one. I guess this is gonna be a goofy evolution seed. <laughs> Wheat. I'm gonna give him... AP accessory? Do I have that? I do have Master Earring. Literally in the name. 
When a parent tells you no, you gotta respect that, but Drake just does whatever he... Fuck. Uh, who is this guy? Oh shit. I wore that outfit in Vegas. I can... I, okay, I have the book, but I have enough high jumps to just jump straight up there if I wanted to. Both ran you over the van. Just about. Almost did. Oh, it's it's K book that I need. Okay, so I can... I do have to jump over the thing. When it comes to- I didn't gamble a whole lot of money, I just had, like, some... A tiny bit of, like, physical cash on hand that I was too lazy to put in the AT into the ATM, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just, like, lose it. And every time I've tried gambling, I've never, ever been allowed to get the... The- the high from it. It's just never worked. It's always been a paper shredder for me. It's never, like, a, it's like the cosmos is preventing me from becoming a gambler. And it was very much my experience again with that. I'm not even all that like when I see slot ma digital slot machines all over Vegas. I'm not even impressed because they have that shit in Piggly Wiggly. Fire. They have that shit in gas stations around here. It's like yeah, cool. Holy shit! Wow, digital slot machine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Vegas. Wow, you can do that shit on your phone. All the Sin City, all the sins in Sin City. You can just do that on the phone today nowadays. I had to lose one round of slots and air out the whole casino. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not prepared to teach people what Piggly Wiggly is. Did you know that this chest has a uh, AP up? The chest that's there, it's a strength up in vanilla. No! Okay. Alright, how do I do this jump again? I already did the jump. What am I fucking doing? I already did it. Wow, they have it, motherfucking move for. Let's check moogles and shit. Yeah, it's time to get a bunch of blue trinities. I just don't remember. I actually do remember which ones have chests, more or less. It's not a whole lot of them. I was half expecting those to be the same reward as well. Just like rolled at the same time. He had 60k, and you have to build them all back up again. EXP bracelet! That's not the last emblem piece, not yet. Wow, they have it! Walkie slash! Wow, they have it! Walkie slash! Haha, <laughs> Walkie slash! Wow, they have it! Can okay. Double! Well done. Well done. That hurt my ears a little bit, but it was worth it. Why is the Divine Rose with the wooden sword description? That's weird. 
<laughs> back with no face cam. I don't know if I want to use face cam in the long haul. I think I like I like doing this instead. I think it suits me more to um, just have it be like a, a toggle fight, yeah, a random event. P doing it for Persona 3 was a big experiment because I want, I've had it, I might still do it for KH4 just because it's KH4 with like a green screen, but I wanted to see how much I could handle just being on camera for that long on a regular basis and I did pretty good at it, it's just I don't know if I really like it a whole lot, just every time. I kind of think I want to do it like Jerma, where he just kind of occasionally does it if it adds to it. What am I doing? Where am I going? It'll have its time and place, especially because this camera is so fucking nice. Oh yeah, since I showed this off at the very start of the stream, but I'll do it again. I got the shitty Sora Disney pin. Look at his face. He looks like a melted popsicle. That oh, one Goofy look great, though. Is this Sora's hands? What's the Sora's anything in this? I guess the Keyblade is on model for once. Oh, I didn't do uh, my favorite part of every run, um, Slider. get the chest first though. This isn't it, but I want to get it. Evil green trinity that nobody can see. This annoying room. Uh... Bruh, this room sucks because they all spawn in one at a time. Oh, never mind. Boo. Boo menu. No! What the fuck? Asshole. See ya. Here we go. Nice. Okay, now I can definitely shotgun uh, into the world a little bit. That helps a lot. Just nuke all the enemies. If you're under level. Grinding for anything? I'm just looking for um, Anakin Skywalker. I'm just looking for um, the last item I need. One more in one piece. This is just like kind of shooting in the dark, getting some quick checks. the fruits are there. Lady luck, whoa. Force. 
Yeah, I went to Disney. I went to Disney at night. Fuck, I missed one. We went to Disney, we got night passes, and it was the move. We got night passes on a fucking Monday, and we didn't have to wait. We barely had to wait for shit. Very, very worth. Done that. Let's get my thing, my Bob installed. I also haven't stepped foot into Halloween Town. No people in at night. Well, I mean, it closed at like midnight, 1 a.m. It was 60 degrees, not 100. True. Yeah, it was nice. Not super humid either. Usually, what I expect for Florida is that it's like you're enveloped in a blanket of humidity, which I honestly don't mind. Especially at night, I like that as long as it's not too hot. But yeah, it was like pristine. Really, best case scenario. It was crazy going back there for the first time since I was like seven, eight years old, or like seven or six years old. Um, Disney is like their whole, it's, it's like a whole ass like infrastructure now. Like, it feels like its own town. Especially Disney Springs. It's like the only walkable neighborhood. Maybe that's why people love Disney so much. It's like an actual fucking walkable, like, city. Yeah, and they were just like handing out free sodas. I was soda maxing in real life. Um, free sodas and like popcorns and shit just because they were, it was late. It was definitely the way to go. But don't tell anyone. Or else everybody will pick up on it and start doing that. So don't tell everyone. Just keep it to yourself. I know at Disneyland during the day, there'd be some weirdos slash crackheads that can get in during the day. It's Disney. If there was a genuine weirdo or crackhead that was a danger to your life, Goofy would kill them in real life. It's fucking Disney. Do you have any idea how many shooters that they have? Mickey Mouse would murder you. Do you have any idea? You're fucking dead. You're dead. You have no idea. They have shooters there, for real. They have insane procedures to make sure it's the happiest place on Earth. If you die... If you die on the premises... Oh, learn this from Chib. If you die on the premises, then you are not allowed to be declared dead until you are off the property, even if you're already dead. They will declare... They will defer your time of death until later. They will do that. They have shooters. I'm not making that shit up. You're fucking dead. You're dead. They will hunt you down like a dog. They will release the brooms on you if you fuck around. And you, you saw what those brooms did to Pete in the Birth by Sleep Experience 2.0. You saw where they took him. That Minnie's command. Yeah, you can shimmy on this in Recom, it's like a very strange, like, they allow you to do the exact same thing. Somebody in my Discord posted a video of them falling out of bounds because of these stairs in Recom. I might have to try that. What am I doing? Where am I? How long have I been here? Alright, I installed my... Thing about that's what I was doing. I have so many things in every world that I haven't scooped up yet. I really have to be wary of that. I'm down one emblem piece. I I I have to be able to turn in dogs. 
skipping recom is actually kind of a valid thing to do. It's a valid experience to have with Kingdom Hearts because the way that Cage 2 is written in a way where it's like, oh, I don't remember that. You get to experience Cage 2 from Sora's POV instead of everyone else's. And I think that's extremely cool relative to every other fucking mid-sequel, prequel spin-off. Why did I use an AP up if I was just swapping limits? Oops. Whatever. When I played Cage 2, and I saw the events of Recom from the opening, I thought that Sora was put into the bubble by Naminé against his will. That's how they make it look. And I always thought it was more interesting that way. Wooden sword. Where? Yeah, what Sora is like... Hold on. Look at him, he's, he's distressed. He's distressed. Look, he like... Bro, ran, he, does this look like he like signed on to this? This is the weirdest thing about the KH2 opening. I think it's very cool and dramatic the way that they did this, but like... They put him in the jar. They put him in the jar. And then in like Chain of Memories, he's like, oh yeah, I'll get in the jar peacefully. It's like so differently depicted. When I first played Keishu, I didn't even see the scene. I was excited. I was like, well, you can actually skip cutscenes. I got a little excited. LeBron James reportedly skips the KH2 opening. I saw For Real at the airport for like 10 minutes. We just randomly walked into each other. And I was like, holy shit, Mr. Beast. Oh, I really should do Halloween Town. I'll do that later. Star Wars in Cage 4. <laughs> oh. It's cool. It's the kind of shit I've been hoping for. Live action, more serious stuff. Very 
rare, unironic use of this limit. Hopefully nobody went invisible. The invisibles went invisible. Invincible. Are they called them invincibles or invisibles? I forget. Maybe I should know of all people. Does this guy have a stagger limit? <gasps> I thought he escaped. Please crit. It's the only thing that'll get me through this guy. Okay, that was a crit at the very end. Invisible. Yeah, the invisibles have gone invisible. What is my level in stats? I have like 33 and 37. Not bad, actually. Vibe on this seed. Um, rusty, but also insane glass cannon, and also we're one more item away from Emblem Row. Very nice first seed back, I would say. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. I'm good. I thought I was being targeted by this guy. Come on. That was a crit, you see that? A glass cannon, crit, see, one winged angel, strike raid. You know, honestly, I'll keep on Trinity Limit for now, but like, I could be able to just strike raid everything just normally, because I would get that damage every time. Yeah, actually, no, I, I just want to do this. Save MP. show you why strike raid should not cost 2 MP right here. Especially with this Keyblade. How many for Raft? Like 2 or 3. Raft is dead, dead already. It's dead in the water, as you may be able to say. This is the one- hold on. This is the one time I want Trinity over anything else. Check this out. Gravity damage, baby. This should help. I remove one over the other so I don't accidentally use both because it's on the same button. It's because it's context button. I do no damage unless I crit, but I have like one or two crit pluses, right? Look at that crit. Yeah, I have two high jumps right now, it's great. I might be able to get a third one. Is it 42% chance crit for this Keyblade and... how many crit pluses? Two. Okay, yeah, two crit pluses. That's actually... it's 10% 10, it's 10 without crit pluses, so I think it's like... Actually, it might be 40%, yeah. If I know how crit odds work. I think I do. Why did that guy not die? Am I doing that little damage without crits? Wow. Yeah, this Keyblade and Strike Raid is like the combo. It's actually insane. How well it stacks. Guaranteed crits. And it deals plus 12 strength of damage. I'm dealing 50 something strength on my Strike Raids only. And I'm fully iframed the entire fucking time. 2 MP, by the way. But yeah, let's make ours cost 3 MP instead of 2 MP. This shit used to cost 3 MP in 1J. Vanilla J. Stay tuned for my video where I rant about that. That Perry saved my life and it killed Donald. Angel Star! Okay. Farm zone MP here. This is why Cage One's the best. You see, see what's happening. The gameplay synergy. It doesn't get much better than that. High jump rate is actually 
um, just like kind of built into the game the way that it stacks. But this, I think the mod also invented double dodge roll as well, which I think I have, don't I? Yeah, I do. It it makes the end lag less. It, it's hard to notice. I have no reason to go back to Atlantic. I have it turned off in the settings, thankfully. But yeah, I have memory kick now. It'll be nice in that one room, at least. Nice triple striker. Was this GBA com? Cool. Time to go with the 10 bits. Thank you. Yeah, you do have to go out of your way for strike, right? That is a good point. You don't get it if you are just like doing the any percent. But it's still, I think, I still think it should be three MP. Maybe both should be three MP, honestly. Ragnarok. Too bad I don't have 18 fucking MP, or else that actually would be worth using. Anything but ours today, huh? Everything but ours actually strike raid. I don't sign quite though. Atlanta, Georgia. You know Digital Devil Saga 2 takes place in Portland. America. I think it's Portland, Oregon. In the game, it's called New Portland. But I'm not sure. Yeah, DDS2 is so good. DDS in general. Oregon, because you're near the water. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Chess we got. I always forget how many chests are in this room. This room is a pain in the ass to get chests and just built weirdly. I think I missed one, but I'll, I'll see if I can get it. See if I get the infinite goofy nay nay. Thank God. This room is very strange, because like it has all sorts of platforming gimmicks that you 
don't give a fuck about because you have high jump glide and you're also falling into the room instead of climbing up it. Keep this with the 19 months, thank you very much. I wonder if this room was designed in a way that like initially you were supposed to come from the bottom and go up, but then like maybe it didn't work all that well because the platform in this game is a little shit at times. Or maybe, yeah, it's got like slides and shit too. This is like a McDonald's play place looking ass. Like this room was like a dev testing room for like interactions and platforming. There's also, well, there's a bunch of weird shit here. There's like, there's vines that are ladders. There are multiple ledge grabs that when you hold up, they act like a ladder. There's a, le there's a horizontal ledge grab that you have to like ledge grab across sideways. There's like shimmy points. It's very odd. I think I got all the chests. I hope. And also there are battles you can get into if you jump into this. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. What? I had full- Oh. I don't even- Thank you, Shin Megami Tensei. Alright, I gotta- I'm taking this opportunity to really get this down so I don't feel like I'm missing chests in this room. Because every seat I've done, I felt like I missed something here. So let's really, really commit this to memory, as they say. Okay, there's one here, on the highest level, behind these pillars that are hard to see. Okay, there's that over there. Is that higher or lower than this? It's lower. So let me... So you get that, and then you come here. It's just hard to see them without scouting every corner out. I didn't have to do any driving when I was on the trip, thankfully. I'm not prepared to drive in places that aren't the Midwest where people actually know how to drive. And even then, they drive like ass in like Indiana, apparently. Is that you go like sideways? What is this? I knew I was back home when I saw Chicago's neat grid lock. Like, I looked out the window and I was like, oh shit, an actual city grid. Because this place fucking burnt down and we got to rebuild it in a reasonable way. That's how I knew I was home. I thought I still had like an hour left of my flight. It was really funny. My flight was $19. Because it was a one way from Florida to Chicago. Which makes sense because nobody in their right mind would want to have a one way from Florida to Chicago. As if you're like, you're trying to stay. What are you trying to stay? Chicago? No way. Get real. Nineteen dollars. The alternative is Florida. Yeah, you know, fantastic fucking weather year-round. I guess it's really fucking hot, but like... Chicago, you have to deal with arctic tundra in the winter and insane scorching humidity. As if it were Florida in the summer. I didn't see a single alligator while I was there. What part of Florida were you in? Disney. Didn't Ifrit belt for my troubles, huh? We didn't go to Gatorland? Where is Gatorland? Is that like the rural land or is that like further south?
like a zoo. Orlando is very nice. Like, Florida gets a bad rap for, you know, it's fucked up and regressive policies with its, like, you know, DeSantis and all that, putting DeSantis and shit, but like, Orlando's great. Oh, I actually have to fight this. This is backwoods of the summit state. Those smoking, those Burberry backwood. Oh, you know what shirt I'm wearing right now? Trendy Limit is insane in vanilla because Goofy's MP gift is 1 MP for 3 on you and he has insane MP rage so when you pop Trinity Limit in vanilla and it only costs 1, uh, it actually costs 5 AP to equip but um, it's worth it because if Goofy has his gift set up right, he'll pop Trinity and the animation takes so long for Trinity to pop that Goofy will get hit one time Give you MP while you're still trinitying, and then you'll be able to spam trinity. You can just spam trinity no matter what because of gift setup. I don't have cure on X. What's going on? Why am I doing this? I'm not set up for this. He realized he's not built for this. There's the crit. I wish this keyblade made a special noise when it crit. You can't, you can't tell. It's very soft sounding, even when you crit. It should be, like, very sharp. It should hurt me. It should hurt me. It should hurt me. I crit with this thing. I think. Just like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when you cast wind on a group of eight bees. I have a clip that I really need to air. I can't... Mild, not really spoilers, but like one area in Rebirth coming up right here. Like, I'll only show this for like 10 seconds, but minor end game area spoiler in like three seconds. Here, let me actually mute the game. You've got, you've got time. Okay. I felt like I got shot in real life when that happened to me. Here, I'll just play it one more time for the sound. It was so fucking loud, I couldn't believe my ears. The Jerma DMC3 moment might be the pinnacle of random shit happening to him in his career. Having to be two of the bees. I think that that shit is extremely funny, and it's annoying that they patched that out of Kingdom Hearts on PC, but they left that in their fucking premiere video game. Because that's what's really satisfying about Remake, and it made me realize Kingdom Hearts 4 should have the insane hit stop and loud sound effects of, like, Rebirth when you, like, pressure enemies and shit, stagger enemies, you know? Like, imagine if KH4 had, like, that kind of dramatic hit stop when you, like, hit parry an enemy or, like, so on and so forth. The, the game feel of Rebirth that they put into it is, like, so perfectly video gamey. It's pure gaming. It's, it's something, it's a term that I want to describe one day. In like a video or something is like pure gaming where it's like the love of the game the love of video game like gaminess you know it 
it's something that feels like it's kind of lost from gaming nowadays, like just the basic, the basic responsive menus and like satisfying. I'm dead. <laughs> apple chips. I'm talking apples. Got them. Big ass booty. There's an apple bottom. Demi friend with the five dollar dude donation. Thank you very much. Way to go! That alert is so good. The hit stop never got old for me. And you'd think it would for somebody like me that gets... I guess pissy about stuff like that, but it didn't get old for me at all. It's it's the it's the love of the game. I think FF16, from what I remember of playing the demo of it, had a lot of that too. It's just the game was very easy, and also the controls were wrong. Please get the chest. I hate this chest. There we go. I hate the pill. I have three high jumps, I guess. There might be too many. More MP from that. High jump gun acquired. It, it's so good when you have aerial sweep. Look at this. It scales with your jump height just automatically. What a good video game. Yeah, pure gaming is when the video games feel like they're designed by people that really get the feeling. Just like the basic moment-to-moment -moment satisfaction of like very basic things, like even menuing. Instead of like people that lied on their resumes. Yeah, I love video games. I love Kingdom Hearts. I was playing Buckshot Roulette the other day because I was watching a lot of streams of that game because that game is really fucking funny and also very simple. But that game also is like, it kind of falls into that category because all of like the animations on the screen feel like stimming. Has anybody seen Buckshot Roulette? Like a three dollar game where the game about roulette but it's like shooting yourself or the dealer. You have like items that can affect your turn. The, I... There's, there's an animation where you saw off the end of your shotgun to deal double damage with a knife, and it's very satisfying. It's like one of those videos of, um, like, cutting, um, like, putty or whatever that they have as, like, ASMR. It feels like that. Also, when, like, the items pop out of the tables and shit. Okay, this is as far as I can get, so now I leave. Didn't get much from that world terminus. I don't even think I remember getting anything at all that was worth snapping out of yippity apping for. At least it's done for later. Okay, it's time. That game is very funny because the idea of being defibrillated when you got shot in the face with a shotgun. I'm like, yeah, you're you're fine. Back shot roulette. <laughs> Real, honestly. Ray of light. Do I there? I might have enough. Yeah, I definitely have enough strength. Another ray of light. I could have an MP. This is actually objectively the right keyblade to use, sadly. Why does Lady look so good? Let's do this. Oh shit, my MP bar is flattened. This chest is the only strength up you can get in Final Mix that is, uh, isn't, like, attached to a Trinity or a Postcard, by the way. There are so many more power-ups you can get in, um, vanilla PS2 versions. You can get, like, five power-ups from chests, and then, like, 
12 overall if you include like postcards and shit. Trinities and weird acquisition stuff. AP up. I'm excited to play Soul Hackers. That's one of the things I want to do next. It'll be like two or three streams tops just to get an ice build in the Mesa playthrough out of my system. But I'm in a very stimming mood. I'm mashing through the Soul Hackers confirm button, which I still have on my stream deck actually. Hold on. Excited to play Soul Hackers. Yeah, I, I should be able to dump all the textures and finally make that stupid mod for you soon. Best confirm sound effect in all of gaming, combined with the best menus in all of gaming, the 3DS version. Soul Hackers 1, not 2. Soul Hackers 2 sucks! The most obvious AI generated boardroom invented game of all time. Atlas doesn't even want to talk about it, and they shouldn't. I soju. That'd be a good flavor of soju. Die soju. It makes you die when you drink it. Yeah, vengeance is gonna be as soon as possible. I'm hopping on that. You know, you already know. As soon as I can, which should be day one. the YTP? No, I just haven't taken a break. I don't know if I will. What am I doing? Where am I? Oh yeah, I have to go back now. How did I... How does this work? Divine? What is divine? Divine Fizz, Divine Magic. I want to do Magic Build again. It was fun. I like hitting weaknesses. Oh, I don't have the items to do this dumb world for some reason. You have to have items. Not hoping no exclusives. They're not called Divine. Are they? Yeah, I definitely made a point out of uh, Almighty. I didn't use um, Almighty Magic. 
But yeah, the idea was to maximize the amount of Nahobino unique animations that I had. I have a lot of chests to clean up that I need to do, and I also... Let me sit through, uh... I have an idea. Doing the cups is always a little boring, so let me put on that YTP while I go, like, sit through fill cup. I want to make a Tony Hawk video kind of like this, but it's like an experience video with gameplay shit as well. The sickest graphics I've ever seen. That was my trick in my heart. Time to. This is really loud, I just realized. so crazy. The game aired a pro board, and the game aired a couple hammers. Eric, Eric. Eric. Hey, you just did that. Yeah. So I'm gonna forget you. M M A contest tomorrow. <laughs> or I'm gonna forget. You. Just need some basic information for. Sparrow. Eric Sparrow. Eric Sparrow. Chat. You're a pro. They entered you as a dude. Someone made a mistake. <laughs> Steak. I just won. What are you talking about? Hey, I just won. What do enter yourself? Enter yourself? You got balls as big as Skittles. Congratulations. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you gotta start thinking about your balls. Taking me pro? You just won a pro contest? No! <laughs> Mom, Russia. Home of Borscht, potatoes, the world's biggest potatoes, the world's biggest skate potatoes, demo ever, demo ever. Look I really enjoyed playing all the Tony Hawk games last November, days, October, okay? whenever the fuck so I did, I don't remember. Tony October. And it hey, carried into November. And December. What's up? What you up? Well, nope. What you stopped? Fucking best new pro. Nope. What you stopped? Well, 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 well. It's pretty close between me and DK. Sus. Sus. Listen, I've been thinking. Remember how I used to torture ducks with you? I, I acted like a duck. I'm sorry. I got carried. <laughs> Why does the pro tag even forgive Eric Sparrow in this game? Eric? Come on, man. Let me out. <laughs> I get out in front of those cameras and show us you all. <laughs> Whoa, me and Vladimir here are feeling tonight. Good, good. <laughs> Your license good in Moscow. <laughs> Moscow, take it as sweet. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. <gasps> you freaking lunatic! You're gonna get yourself killed. Underground one and two is like pinnacle when gaming. I saw him steal the guard's car keys. I knew he was up to something stupid. I tried to stop him. He was stupid. I on. I on. There's seven dollars in damages you're responsible for. No? Absolutely, get the check from me! I was stupid. I tried to steal the guard's action figures. Get the check <laughs> from the parents! This kid doesn't even have parents! Nothing to it. Yeah. You'll be a lucky strike. <laughs> this is like one of those. Remember, what was it? What? It was the DDD streams when I did the stimming overload in the end, right? When I was just like sitting through the ending. That reminded me of that. Oh yeah, Ben Didson. Eric Sparrow. I forgot about that.
EXP ring. Ooh, I'm kind of surprised I don't know where this last thing is. Unless... No, I have statue already. I need water fountain. Eric. Eric. What trinity am I missing? Just... White. Okay. That could be a lot of things. Peg cup. I'm gonna throw on a uh, strike rate, actually. Fetch Pins Part 2 is coming out. Fetch Pins 3 Part 2 is a multi-part thing. Strike right in from the start. Fire. Yeah, that's a classic. Fire. Man, I could really go for my salmon pretty soon here. She's gonna fuck me up here with the damage. Oh my god, I just need that sound P. Ow. I have such weird abilities today. Oh. You know, stand a chance against me. Asshole. Why do I have no MP? What happened? No items ever? Stop bag that. Oh my god. Nice. I'm gonna die. Thank you, Goofy. Thank you, Donald, for existing for once. Ah, vortex just got me hit there. That was Vortex. That was all Vortex. You see that? That would have normal someone to hit. Oh my god. I almost died again because of Vortex. She could have killed me there. Hmm. 
Yeah, Yuffie was a problem in the Goofy only run. Because I needed that shield for the rest of the game. I feel like I should do some world cleanup before I do any more cups, but I'll do the extensions here real quick, just because it's free. Report. Okay, that's huge. I assume you don't already have it. <laughs> it's new, and it doesn't have shit! Awesome. Report sucks! Okay, there's another report. I don't know if I have it, though. Two in a row. Sucks! Bridge? That's beyond where I need the item. I can't get that. This has happened before, hasn't it? Bridge? I can't get that without the jack-in-the-box. I can't get to there. Also, that sucks as well. Huh. I can do this, Trendy. Does it even do anything? I don't think I did anything. I should probably check Moogles. It's been a while. Do I have every spell? Do I get thunder? Is that why I'm getting that pop up? What happened? I do. How the fuck did I get thunder? Where did I get that? I'll turn to my dolphins if I have more. I'll do that in a minute. I think I have already done it though. Oathkeeper. Interesting. It's got diamond dust distribution, huh? Interesting. Oh, yeah, gravity field cup. That's a nice coincidence. Now I can get the postcards. Two postcards. I wish I had super glide, though. They're the only thing I don't have right now in my stack. I just have standard glide. Sucks! I had the door. That's how long I was in the chat. I was locked in. I'm just not gonna open the shortcut today. I'm not enough feeling this. Fuck the shortcut. It sucks. It's not happening. Don't worry. It. My you picked the 46 fucking months. Thank you very much. I can't believe I've been streaming for that long. Every time I see numbers that big. game sound effect. Uh, the only mods that I have other than the randomizer, other than the music, is cosmetic stuff like Donald Goofy's portraits right now. That's it.
His room ceiling gives me anxiety. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. It's too low. Low ceiling environments have that effect, apparently. Yeah, that room is bad vibes. Too many gizmos and doodads. Moogle is kind of fucked up today because I can barely make I can barely make shit. Defender, Warhammer, Violetta, Genji Shield. I need to keep an eye out for if I can buy those anywhere. Breathing manually is good. Try meditating. Do I report three? I probably could have bought that a long time ago. I don't. Oh shit. I don't know how long it's been there, but now I have it and I have no money as well. I might kill myself if this isn't a good report. It has, uh, it has it. Silent Chamber. I know what that is, I think. This is what I get for not scraping the barrel in Agrabah. But I definitely did not get everything I could here. Silent Chamber. It's one of these, right? Did I activate this and not walk in here? White trendy. I don't think it's silent chamber though. This is silent chamber. That's outside, it's upper. There's a chest in here. It's the blue trinity! The fucking blue trinity chest, one of the only ones in the game. Alright, it's time. Let me sit up in my chair. We are on the way out just in time. Fire build. Oh, that oh, that's the that's the that's the seeds gimmick today. Full fire build. Let me take some screenshots. Yeah, professional YouTuber. Actually, if I said fire build, it would they would think I'm using fire fire instead of actual fire. I can't wait to roll up against Chernobog and die anyways. Blue Trinity! Normal cure? Where did I get cure? I could probably upgrade it pretty quick now that I know what's what. I don't know if I had cure for. I don't remember. I didn't keep track. Fuck. I guess I can jump straight into the fucking library now. Get some stuff. I think I also just have the book for this, don't I? No. No! There we go. Here is on stop. No, uh, uh... Stop is... In Monstro? It kind of tracks, which means getting upgrades is going to be ass because I can't get upgrades because it's fucking stop. Oh, shit, yeah. 
I'd have to do 100 acre and phantom. I guess I'll kill myself in hell forever. Huge if true. The good thing is I don't need it, but I also don't have Leaf Bracer, so... I remember the last seed I did where I was like, Oh, I'm so worried about Ansem, but my damage was high enough, and I was like, I just steamrolled him without, like, any... Any, uh, any... Safety measures. Where was Stop 3 in Vanilla? Was it not on Phantom as well? I think it's on... I don't think it's anywhere else in Vanilla. I never got... I did get that. Fuck that button. Okay, this is the strike raid crit build. Look at the damage. Yeah, it was there in vanilla. FM didn't change any magic distribution. This game was good enough in vanilla, honestly. It just didn't have good combo mods. And also, I guess vanilla vanilla of this game gotta remember it didn't have post it, it only had phantom it didn't have anything else the version we got was like 1.25 it was like half final mix it, uh, incomplete mix <laughs> semi-final mix yeah I'm, I'm stealing that line using it in my video thanks The reason why Kurt Ziza is called Kurt Ziza is because he was an E international. He, some, he, Kurt Ziza in real life won the contest and so they, they put his name in there. But it's it's one J I'm talking about where you only have Phantom and no Kurt Ziza, no Ice Titan, no Rock Titan. No, actually no Rock Titan was in there, but he doesn't count. Because he sucks. Um, Sephiroth, everything but Phantom and Rock Titan was added in the international, as well as some balance changes, performance increases, uh, some drop rate table changes. Stay tuned for my video, why am I spoiling it all? <laughs> Stay tuned, the day of reckoning will come. That video will be out in a month, just you wait. This chest could have ours, please get the chest. Don't not get the chest. I was for doing that. It's because I have a 30 series NVIDIA graphics card. It's unironically the reason why. I'm dead because Dark Ball is doing its tent temper tantrum attack. Temper tantrum. Yeah, it happens. It's called Shib Glitch because Shib was the first person I saw have it. If you have a 30 series card, which I do, and he did at the time, and then I got one, and it happened to me. You get weird shadows in these rooms. Some other rooms, too. Yeah, it's very funny and specific. I don't know if it happens to 40 series as well. I wonder if it does. If it's like a new gen NVIDIA thing. I was the richest MF to play KH day one. True. I was still on a 1080 Ti when this shit came out. I had 1080 Ti until Elden Ring, and that's when I was like, yeah, I'm not getting 60 FPS, it's time for a new card. Spent too much on a 3070 Ti. 900 fucking dollars. Please donate to the stream. <laughs> that shit's like, how much is that nowadays? An Aorus worst brand 3070 Ti. How much is that nowadays? Brand sucks. It's been fine for me though. <laughs> I got a 3080 because my friend got one I didn't fit in his case. Oh, that almost happened to me. Do they have a non standard case? Like a mini case or like a cube? Because my. I showed it off, there's a video on my stream archive of KH1 Rando 3070 Ti edition, and it, the video starts off with me pointing 
my webcam into my computer, and you could see zero centimeters of clearance left for the GPU. 370 Ti is 730 on me. Like, okay, yeah, so that's not too bad for a car that I got in 2022. I've had 2060 for five years. 1080 Ti was doing pretty good for me. It's just Elden Ring was the last straw. <gasps> oh, there's a defender behind me in my ass. This is kind of weird right now. Okay. I can just jump. I don't even need the gravity. There you go. Second chance and two strengths. We are so ready for endgame. You see that? You see that? That's the level up. That's big. That's huge. That's so fucking big. You got the Jack Frost armlet and the report that told me where the last shit was. I don't know what that was, actually. Fuck Blitz. Blitz sucks. It's, Blitz is good. Why does Goofy not have gift? What are we doing? Goofy has, like, no build today. This is fucked. Maybe Jackpot. Give me the AP ups. This is going over too long. I have no item slots. Interesting, interesting run today. Very weird stat distribution. Very interesting item drops. Isn't the menu cursor supposed to be like Mickey's hand? It's like the Final Fantasy, like, point your finger, but it's Mickey. Isn't that what it is? How many hits can I get away with here? How much damage am I... Taking this. Look at the damage I'm not taking right now. That's not even with arrow. Triple fire resistance. Look, I don't. I can. I can just live here. I'm. 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 I'm gonna become a landlord in this fire right now because of how much fire resistance I have right now. I can just like rent out property in this fire. That's how long I can fucking stand here and not take any damage. This problem attack that always kills everyone. Always. Look at this. I'll never become a landlord. All landlords go to hell before they die. <laughs> I would be one if I had the money, fuck everyone but me, TBH. That's some real protagonist energy. I can get behind that, honestly. I can like fall asleep and beat this boss right now. This is great. Ifrit seed. The Ifrit seed. Oh, I almost died. Look at the damage difference I'm taking right now. Nice double AP up. Evil maxing. Should have not skipped the custom so we can see what item I got. Never mind, there it is. That's not me mewing, that's okay. So I have a funny face that I like to do. See what's happening right here? I'm not like mewing with my chin, I'm doing this. <laughs> Does it look like mewing? I just have a good jawline, I don't know. It looks maxing. That cut to an ad. Please clip that if you have NVIDIA replay set up right now. That would be very funny.
What emote is this? Is that mewing emote? <laughs> That's what that is. Why did I arrow before the boss? Yeah, mewing is like, you like, exercise your jaw so it looks sharp or some shit, I don't know. I'm not on body dysmorphia Twitter, I guess. Come. I need to take up high jumps. I'm just gonna use the cheater menu for this real quick. I... This menu lets you use like tents and shit mid battle, but I'm just using it to customize my equipment so I don't have to die. Hold on. I don't know if I jump. I, I tried to hide him to escape there and I just didn't go up much. I have second chance. I don't need to worry too much anymore. You know what? Check this shit out. I don't counter attack. Nice DM. I don't mind him. Why is he counter attack on getting deflected? I hate this guy. We get to hear the song for once. You know what? Three level ups. 290 encounter with a two months. Was that like when Demi Fiend hits counter for 290 damage? Thank you very much. I forgot I had that Shib emote for 7 TV, the fucking Bloodborne. You gotta get you set up with a 60 FPS Bloodborne, that shit's easy. Still have all the files. Oh. Who won the bet? Emblem. Pretty, as always, it was pretty obvious early on that it was gonna be Emblem. Cash it out soon here, but where's my money? Hey, fuck it, I'll just do it now. Fuck it, do it live. Thing fucking sucks. Sorry, refs, believers, you'll get your time in the sun today. I remember paying out something. The first time I ever had to pay something out myself. I paid it out wrong. It was really funny. I think it was a Keyblade bet, at least. I 
Draft is just too unlikely, I think. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me what happened. Holy shit! Did the minute bomb not work? Hold on. Got this. Shut up. Everything is broken. There we go. Congratulations on redeeming VIP. It's been a long time since somebody got this. Good work. I need to... I think all my things have gotten a little broken because I've moved stuff around a bunch of times, so I'm going to... I'm going to turn that off for the rest of the, the, the day so I can get that figured out. It's because I don't want somebody to get scammed again. Thank you very much, though. It's a lot of fucking points. I don't know how long it takes to save up nowadays. So long. Damn. Worth. That shit used to be too cheap. But I don't think I'll make it much more expensive than that because a million is a lot. But I have plenty of slots at least, so that's not a concern. Alright, how am I looking in terms of, like, endgame build? I've got plenty of items. I have second chance. I have... No items. I only have level 1 cure, which is really bad. But with crits, and I have two crit pluses, I should be alright. Oh, I have 50 strength? I don't even need this keyblade. Really. Especially by the time I actually get to the final boss. I guess I should use diamond dust. I'll just use this for now because it's funny. I'll just use it for the rest of the seed because it's funny actually. I don't even think I need to do whatever this is to beat the rest of the- I haven't even talked to Sid. I don't even know if I need to talk to Sid, really. But I'll do it just to make sure it's like a leaf bracer I might just get randomly. Yes, my anniversary. Yes. Color theory, Eli, would be 11 months. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. I don't even know if this is necessary to do in rando, because I already have the item I need. I'm just, like, getting an extra item, maybe. Yeah, Emblem is just so likely that it's like not even all that big of a payout. MP Rage, okay, that's very good. MPH. That was worth getting. Now I can like heal through the pain.
At least we're halfway through uh, this place. This place, this place. I have to do Hollow Bastion 2. Whole ass fucking visit of Hollow Bastion. That sucks. Forgot about that. The first time I caught one of these streams. Second message in chat. You're good. I guess you've been here once before, so you probably forgot. It wasn't that, that long ago. <laughs> That's okay. I just remember we had one chatter a long time ago that said that like five times. Just because they wanted the attention of being like, Oh yeah, first time to come do a sham stream. They said they, they tried to dip in that like six times in like one stream. But yeah, no, welcome, uh, welcome back, I guess. We're chilling. We're having a good day. Toxing his viewers and sanity. I just like pulling people over and looking at their permanent records. It's really funny to do. I think it's more so because of the whole first time chatter highlight message when I see somebody say first time here, but it's like I don't see the, the highlight. I'm like, huh. Hmm, interesting. But it's a uh, no big game, just fucking around. This slide sucks. It sucks. Why do they even put it there if it's not gonna be like good? Play Sea of Thieves. I have yet to pick that up. Is it good? Lethal Company sweeps. <laughs> Never played that shit. Lethal Company got an update, didn't it? How how well is that Lethal Company inspired game doing that other one? That content warning game. Is that doing well or do not, does nobody give a fuck after like a week? Can you skip the elevator? You need Super Glide? I think uh, I probably need Super Glide. The height is probably... I, I gotta try to... I forgot you could even do that in the first place. But I don't know if I can do it with the standard glide. I think you fall down. You lose too much height too fast. Six million free coppers are claimed. Hmm. Those are all just trials though, right? I feel like Lethal Company... The thing about Lethal Company that gave it lasting appeal... How many people are playing it right now? At least like 40k, right? Or at least like 30k at this point now? The thing about Lethal Company that has lasting appeal is it feels like you can be hardcore about it and still give a fuck about it instead of it just being like a funny gimmick with friends and then like you move on. The fact that the whole like quota hunting um, of free coppers for the whole game. Oh, that's cool then, I guess. Like, cool for the company to not make any money then. <laughs> But I feel like the whole, like, quota hunting is something you, like, you could really get into Lethal Company even after, like, the scariness of it has subsided. And it's still always really fucking, like, you know, scary and goofy and funny, even if you're used to it. Yeah, the loot maxing, it's just a really good game. A lot of really cool breakout cheap games that, uh, are just amazing ideas made by, like, one or two people. That's why developers fucking suck. Real developers. Atlas with their fucking $70 remake of a 2008 game that really should not be worth any more than $50 with a $35 expansion pass on it. Meanwhile, some of the most original games are like $10 or less. Video games fucking suck. <laughs> Ever tell you that? Repeatedly. Yeah, the Company also has a really good art style for what it's trying to do. 
what it's succeeding at doing. I, sh I should bring back developers. That's like an old ass uh, original 2020 redemption that I used to have. Buckshot Roulette. I was talking about it earlier. I was just thinking about that too because it falls into the same category. Good. Three dollar, two, two and a half dollar game. And it's gonna have PvP. That shit can't come soon enough. I'm an indie dev. Make something really cool and good and you'll deserve to eat. Unlike the rest of these AAA devs. I like, I like specifically saying devs and not caring. That's like, oh yeah, it's the publishers actually. No, it's the devs. But yeah, best of luck. All joking aside, I'm just talking shit. My ears got blown out by the silence there. Cool. Dude, we got accessories. Drinking water. Should obtain that in real life. I'm kind of fucking thirsty right now. But the end of the game is in sight. I will get it right there. I'll do it. I don't need water. I'm getting water. What am I fucking saying? Grow up. Take care of yourself. It goes for you too. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Sora, good luck. Cocaina, no, flowers. Somebody just asked me um, why I hate the military. Take care of yourself. Drink water. I'm back. Ha! What is Aerith gonna give me? What's gonna be in this? I'm curious. Crystal crown chest. Sucks! 
70 money. The American McGee games. You know those games are, um, were made by a, a Quake and Doom dev? They're also made on like a fork of a Quake 3 engine game. I didn't know that until I was like looking into it. I also found out that the PC port fucking sucks, but you can emulate it on the Xbox 360 emulator, like, no problem. The, the second one, the one on 360. I got Aeroga for that? Are you serious? Huge if true. The, the, oh, the, the, the way that this mod works sometimes can gaslight you, but if that's true... Oh my god, we're so fucking back. We're so back! What does Aurora even do? Compared to Aurora. Does it do more damage and reflect projectiles? Alright, I have to do something very important here. Check this out. Uh. The mod has the song be too quiet, so I need to boost it out. Whoa! Oh, it's not time for it yet. Is that Gale? Huge. Just like the original game, you get it right at the fucking end when it doesn't matter anymore. Awesome. Really cool. Alright, Shinderbog, I have a score to settle with you. Things didn't go too well last time with those fucking PS2 orbs. Now I have a Rogue and three Ifrit belts. Fire, huh? You're gonna raise fire? You're gonna raise fire and force me to fuck off? You're gonna do that, huh? Yeah? You're gonna breathe fire, huh? Force me to fly away and heal through the pain as if I'm about to get two shot No. Not today. I don't even have to give a fuck about what you're doing anymore. He was at the mini golf course. Sharing a bog dolphin. Yes, two orbs. See you on the home screen. That was cathartic. Seeing how little damage I took from that bullshit. Now I think I'll see if I can put on a bit more normal defensive equipment. Fuck defense, defense sucks. Goofy has strength strength, I just realized. Goofy doesn't have tornado. He actually would need more strength than this. He does have Tornado. Hold on. I 
Okay, hold on. I might be able to cook here. Goofy the Golem. Too bad he doesn't have a better shield or else he could be hitting a damage cap with Tornado if he had like something in the 20s. Okay, Tornado is finally on the table. Now I have some actual fucking damage assistance. And Berserk? Okay, yeah, even better. Goofy's about to convert his anger into rage. What does that even mean? It's gonna fuel his power. Lob the music mod. Lob. The battle theme's in reload, Armed. It's true. A lot of them are downgrades. Especially the final boss. The final boss is like some karaoke remix of that shit. I didn't want to be too negative about it while I was live streaming that shit, but I, I was talking so much shit about the version of that song in my head. I like that this game gives you a force shortcut because it has persistent menu memory in the magic. The moon is like a third the size of how big it is in the Fez fight. That reminds me of the reasoning on why you can shoot the moon in San Andreas to change its size. It's because the devs were going back and forth on if they wanted the moon to be like big and dramatic or small and realistic. And so the like a dev was like, hey, I'll put in a toggle so you can shoot the moon to like, you know, test it. And then they never got rid of that toggle. Asshole enemy. Spend that 2 MP just for one swing, it's worth it. That game took too long for me to stream. In hindsight. It was too many streams of that game because of the way that it is. I don't ever want to stream any game like that ever again. I'm glad I did it just so I could try it, but it's too much. Sorry to all the... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but sorry to the Kingdom Hearts onlys in my stream archive. They get excited for Persona 1. PS1. It's a shame though, because P5 looks like the most SMT, I guess other than like 1 and 2 of course, but it looks like the most SMT modern persona. Especially because it actually has SMT demons. And music that I care for.
really do not care for the musical style of Persona 3. <laughs> Almost like at all. Damn, I've had my Donald settings wrong like all day. Meguro, Shoji Meguro is like freelance, but he works at Atlas still a lot, but he's also doing indie games that nobody gives a fuck about. Then I hope for DDS. I don't know. Um, maybe there is a silver lining in the fact that Atlas is dragging their fucking heels with uh, getting the DDS OST on Spotify, even though they said they are going to do that like three months ago. Maybe there's something more to that that's like a good bit of good news. I think it'll happen. I don't think Rido's chances. I think Rido's chances are better than DDS's. Have you seen the the popularity poll for Remix? Rido and Devil Summoner is very popular in Japan. And you have to consider that the Japanese opinion on these things is much more relevant than our opinion, because Atlas is still very like focused on you know their audience. Take a look at this t <laughs> Oh, there we go. Projectiles. Oh. There we go. Guess I got the most projectiles out. Oh, Goofy's going in. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty smooth final boss now that I have insane and everything. Pretty much. You insolent little. Uh oh, how did he not grab me? Insolent little bitch. Yeah, Ryota Kazuka is actually doing music for the answer. It's interesting. Maybe I'll stream that. <laughs> Going from being like, oh, I can't wait to like, oh, maybe I'll stream that. At least it'll be shorter. Better be. Easy fucking game. Easy and long. Much reading. Five hour stream watched, I fear. This, this is like... This is normal. This is like the most normal length rando I've had. It's actually pretty good that like... Despite being so rusty at this, that I've managed to do it this quick. TBH. Go eat your salmon, dude. I'm trying. Fuck you. Thank you. Okay, what would have done it in four? True. Washed. Oh, double rage goofy. Okay, hold up. Didn't see that. Nocturne randomizer. It's already out for PS2. Oh, like hardware? Okay, that I didn't know about. Can we get one for HD? For fuck's sake. First and only save of the run. Just in case I die and I want to load back or whatever. I did a lot of yippity yapping too, just kind of like walking around, not remembering where I am. Chatting, chatting it up. Catching up. Yeah, where's the... I'm really disappointed this hasn't happened yet. I want 
um, Nocturne HD mod that brings back the original voices for like demons and shit. This is just better, almost like across the entire board except for Hellbiker. Trying to escape. Plus, you'd still have the cutscene voice acting, so. Pitch. Jumping is such a good defensive tool. We don't need dodge roll half the time to jump. Though I do have three high jumps, so it's kind of a moot point. Oh my god. Okay. Good thing he got stuck there. I would have died. No, I have second chance. Have you played Nocturne a month ago and turned voice volume off? Yeah, they should have had an option for turning off voice acting. Soul Hackers on 3DS has that. They They'll either turn off the voice acting of the new version, and it like makes the cutscenes faster, like it's supposed to be. What do you hope to accomplish? Do not deny it. The final darkness is down. Submit. Or that. Oh, a rare, rare mix-up right there. Come, guardian. Submit. Uh oh. Open your eyes. Get out of my ass, please. Stop. Open your Stop. Stop. You can go really hard on him there, though. Bitch. Sandbagging? A little bit, yeah. What do you hope to accomplish? Do not deny your fear. The final darkness is down. Submit! There we go. Sub I didn't even know we still had those commands. Do we have them all? What? What? Behold the endless abyss. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom hearts. Shout out to Ren for all of those reward Focus variations all those years ago. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. The Golden Cat Man with the Prime new sub, new Prime sub. Thank you very much. All hearts born, even yours. <gasps> Darkness conquers all worlds. Sora, I thought you were stronger than that. They're gonna make this song bad in the uh, the answer. I should know they're not because they're gonna have the SMT five composer. I have to double heal every time I need the full heal. Oh, 
Ah! This is a P3 the answer track. So basically the the best the good part of the game. That's a mega too. This part's done. Most annoying part as well. Why is he? Why is he stanced up though? Yeah, so this is like the perfect cage one rando seed to come back to. Good to uh get things going again. I had a nice amount of movement, I was able to do all sorts all sorts of yippity yapping. These projectiles are bouncing off, which is great. Probably doesn't terrorize me for once. It's pretty good for how rusty and non-focused I've been, which is the way I like it. Imagine playing a randomizer optimally. It's supposed to be fun and fresh and exciting and new every time. That guy just got destroyed, what was that? Yeah, I remember when I, and I replicated this when I made the, when I played uh, English Vanilla for my video. Um, but I didn't know what I was doing to get to the end of the game. So I did everything I could, Super Bosses, Sephiroth, Ultimate Weapon, and then I figured out, oh yeah, you have to talk to Sid. Install Navigo, maybe the game. So I, I ripped through this guy level 80 with ultimate, it was great. Oh, don't die, please. Thank you, Goofy, what the fuck? You know what, Goofy's gonna solo this. I don't wanna die here, I don't wanna lose. The, the music mod still needs to be fixed. If you die, it's, you play the original theme.
This is the best way to do this fight. Right here. He got gift. Whatever, who cares? Gift sucks. Maybe gift sucks. At this point, in the seat at least. Timing the finisher cams just right like that. I think I'm going to start trying to stream a bit earlier. I wanted to stream at like 4 or 5 p.m. my time today, but I I wasn't feeling ready and I was like too tired, so I took like a nap. Which didn't particularly make me feel all that much better, but um, I want to stream earlier going forward so I can end earlier. Have more time to really unwind in the night. EP? Yeah, I'm feeling EP right now too, still. I don't drink caffeine anymore, unless it's like one, the amount of caffeine you get from like one fucking Coca-Cola, but I'm done with monster energy, unless it's like a rare treat, it's, it fucks me up. The real reason why he was gone, he was detoxing. I had one strawberry lemonade rehab on the trip, I had half one day and half the other, because I was at a fucking aquarium that had every rehab in the, um... I'm gonna die if I don't pay attention here. It had every rehab. It had five types of rehab in the, um... In the gift shop of a fucking aquarium. I've never seen that amount of, uh... That amount of variety. I don't see that in, like, grocery stores. Yeah, this is a uh, this is the healthy sham arc. Body and mind. This is the drink water arc. I mean, I've always been good about drinking water on stream, but you know. Is this gonna be a deathless ansem? It's about to not be if I keep yapping. Oh my god, stop still knocking me. Oh, he's dead. See ya! The little orb that could. Like two streams, you're gonna start saying Namaste. You should have seen me in Shib's backyard four mornings in a row meditating by the pool. Because, like, there was just so much going on in the trip that I like had to learn how to do that to, like, start the day without feeling fucked up. It was really cool, though. It is futile. The keyblade alone. <laughs> what were you guys doing? A lot. A lot of walking. I walked like at least 10k steps a day. Fill me with the power of darkness. It was good. Stacy Peralta. Day Nova, have you seen the Tony Hawk YTP's Corbin Evan posting? He gets owned by like, yeah, we know. Get the fuck out of here. It's salmon time. It's way past salmon time, actually.
Special secret. Is this the real one or the... No, this is the real one, right? No, this isn't deep dive. This is the one that sucks. I always get the one that sucks. I never qualify for the good one in my randos. What are they cooking, truly? Endless HD. Cooking movie emote. That should be a GIF emote. I have a GIF slot for that. I could do, I could put that up like right now. I'll do that. All right, that is it for me. I am glad to be back, and I'll be live at some point with something cool. That's the schedule going forward. It'll always be something cool, though. I'm gonna be long-ass credits today, so I'll, I'll chill here for a hot second. Thank you, everybody, for the resubs and, you know, staying subscribed as well. I always worry if I don't stream for, like, as long as I did. Uh, about like losing subs and all that shit and you know financial stuff but really appreciate all the support coming back to it feels good streams going forward unless it's like i'm actively in the middle of like smt5 vengeance or whatever i want to be a lot um less obligatory and higher quality because i also need much more time than i've been getting uh to myself just in general, as well as, you know, time to make videos and stuff. So, keep that in mind. I'm sure y'all are fine with that, of course. It's just me that I need to... You know. Get used to... Doing a bit less for that. But yeah, thank you very much, everyone. I will be back soon. Fish.